Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Morning, good morning. Happy St. Patrick's Day. This was the greenish shirt I had. Well, it's green, I suppose, isn't it? But it hasn't got um, leprechauns or shamrocks on it. It's got camper vans. Anyway, how are you? Oh, it's so hot, isn't it? We had issues with the heating this morning because we share. <clears throat> oh, look at me. I've been in here two minutes. I've started already. And I've had no coffee on purpose to see if it would work. It's fine, it's fine. I've, I've been off for four, oh no, three days, three days, right? Haven't coughed once, right? Got in the car to come in this morning, right? <coughs> and I was like, oh no. They haven't, fi they haven't fixed the lights. They have not fixed the lights yet. So that's why I'm still looking like this. Stuart's very worried. Stuart thinks he's going to look older than me. I oh, know, he's in the dressing room now plastering on that makeup as so. though anyway 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 i've got a fabulous day lined up don't forget it's on pre-order already right we are going to do the early bed he's standing at the curtain now there's so much makeup on i can't tell you they talk about hinge and bracket well honestly it's more like danny la rue in our dressing room this morning and anyway, he's just popping out he'll be on at uh, 10 o'clock 10 o'clock so uh, early bird early bird early bird is here now i've not got an overhead camera you have to look at it from the front what is it you're saying well it's a stack and store bobbing tower it's organised up to 30 bobbins. Now, when we put it on Facebook last night, because they now advertise it on Facebook the night before, so, uh, so many of you put, oh, I've got that. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Watch. Look, 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 look. Da, 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 da. Da. So what it is, is you put all your bobbins in there. That th Because they're this uh, rubbery, silicone-y sort of look, right, it doesn't let the loose ends run around. You've got uh, three pink and three blue on there. And you're thinking, well, they're lovely, but how do I get to them? Well, look. Oh. 
this one's brand new obviously there you go look so if you want to just keep them like this you can do so put all your reds in that one all your blues in that one maybe there's nothing worse is that than in your drawer all of your bobbins just rolling around it's funny because i tidied up my office this week and i've just got a box full of mine and i tied them all up and put them i didn't have one of these though right are we going to crash that price straight down straight down straight down straight down straight down 5.99 i can hear I can hear uh, that's uh, gem, that gem, what's that? Jewelry makers or gems? Uh, £5.99, £5.99. Multiples are flying out the door. Look, aren't they? Oh, hello, and I've got to look over there, and I'm afraid. Top of the morning to you, and have a great day from Annie County Down. Thank you, Anne, my lovely. Uh, so you're going to get this. Now, you have to put them back in the same order. They can go back in any order. You can do pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue if you want to. Look, there you go. Ooh. I forget there's no overhead on this side. Oh, that's not very well put together, is it? There you go, there you go, there you go. Yep, and what's more is you can use them like this if you want to. You can do like that with them if you want to. I'm not suggesting you do because they are quite sharp. Uh, anyway, keep going through. 5 99 Remember, check out, check out, check out. Because once you've checked out on these, no matter what else you buy up until midnight tonight, uh, you'll only pay one PMP of £3.95. I think I need a haircut, don't I? Anyway, there, fantastic. Five pounds and 99 pence. Look, it tells you how, it shows you how to use it here, look. Put your bobbins in like that. And for any size bobbin, because look, it stretches. Watch, ready? Look. Woo! Looks very pink on my telly here. No, you couldn't, how would you put your threads in there, cut? Well, if you took them off, have we got any threads? Where are the threads these days? Yeah, hang on. If you're just taking one to a class with you. Hang on, they've tidied up, haven't they? Well, if not, Billy. There we go. So Kat's suggesting this. Have you got any bobbins, Becky? I'm talking to Becky now. I've got a floor manager now. I don't need to touch it. You could put your threads in, but the, I don't know. I don't think you would. I don't think you would put your thread in there. Becky's just finding me some bobbins now. Anyway, five ninety nine. Loads of you coming for this. Keep going through. Keep going through. Keep going through. Uh, saving four pounds. Now remember, at midnight. At midnight, that goes back up to nine ninety nine. Remember. I know. I know. Whilst you're checking out, I just want to show you this. Right, I got this in the post. Uh, Haley texted me yesterday, saying, "Oh, there's some um, something in the post for you. I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's from." Uh, Trudy Smith in Dorset, right? She said, hello, John. The nasty letter you got really upset me on Tuesday morning. So that's a few weeks ago now, isn't it? Uh, Valentine's Day it was, February the 14th. Just felt the need to make you this heart. Love, Trudy Smith in Dorset. Well, it's arrived, Trudy. I've got it. And it'll go on my wishing tree, my feng shui tree tonight when I get home. It's going to go on here. Oh, it's just taken up all the hooks. I'll put it here for now next to my iPad. No, it's fine. I'll put, leave it in now. I had a hook because it's all gone now. Anyway, five ninety nine, five ninety nine. Keep going through for those. Keep going through. We can have a close up. Not that I'm telling you what to do. Oh really? No, thank you, Becky. Nine ninety nine. Look, there you go. How quite easily they fit in there. Keep it next to your sewing machine, keep it next to your threads, whatever you want to do. £5.99. Make sure you check out on that one. Right, I'll, I'll keep it out on the table for now. Right, would you like to look at, look at today's menu? Uh, it's the doorstop, the doorstop. Oh, delivery. Oh, it's the wall. Thank you. Uh, John Scott's doorstop and Easter makes at 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock, we've got exclusive to Sewing Street. Uh, in there, we've got um, Amanda Little's designs. We've got some Delphine designs in there. Uh, Kat, just you know, a box has just been delivered. And then 10 o'clock, Stuart Hillard Fabrics. We've got Indigo Elements back in stock. Now, last time it sold out. I need to tell you, on pre-order, it's already selling out. I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you, I'll show you on pre-order in a minute. Right, back to the menu. Then he's also got the Indigo Elements and Kyoto. Fantastic prices. 11 o'clock, we've got Liberty Fabrics. Now, who made this um, menu? Right, look at the bottom line, right? It's covered over by the phone number. You've gotten a bit low, haven't you? 
There you go. Now, at 12 o'clock, it's Sean Lane. Stripe up your life. Uh, now, you don't have to go to Yarn Lane. You stay where you are. Stay where you are. Now, it's not on pre order It's only just arrived in a box. So, Kat's got to sort that. As soon as it, it's ready, I'll let you know. As soon as it goes on pre order I'll let you know. There are three ways you can get... Now, are they all working today? Three ways you can get in touch. The first way is you can send an email, and that is studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. That goes through to Kat, and she'll read that one out to me. You can send me a message on Facebook Live, which are the ones I've been reading out, and I'll do a few more of those. Laurie says, morning, John Stewart and team. Have a lovely day. Pam Minihani says, thanks for the tour. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And says, good morning. Margaret says, morning. Donna, Susan, lovely in Derbyshire. Julie, quick change. Yeah, I had a quick change. Uh, Hilary says, good morning. Patricia says, good morning. Love you in black. Pauline says, uh, would like a panel, but need to wait to the end of the month. Hope there'll be some left. Oh, Pauline, I doubt it. This rate, but we'll get it back. We'll get it back. Judy says, good morning. Cousin Susan. Marie says, hello, boys. Anyway, that's the Facebook Live. Or you can go to the website, www.sangstreet.com. You can click on watch the show live. Then the little box on the right-hand side there will uh, just click on it. Uh, and you get this. And then there's a box on the right-hand side there. You just write your name in there. Lots back in stock. And send the message there. They're the white ones that come up on your bottom. There's the early bird. Right, now in a minute there will be two columns. The first column on the left-hand side will be show deals. They'll be the things we've shown you. The things on the right-hand side, however, are things that are coming up. So there it is. There it is. Right, stop. We have got the kit there uh, for $14.99 where you get the, kit, the panel and the instructions. Same now if I'm just telling you this if you've got any of the other shops the instructions are the same so if you look here you can buy the panel on its own panel on its own so if you've already got one or if you've already got the instructions you now that's a, that's th th they're flying out the panels on their own are flying out so I'm, I'm going to be in a minute I might be saying to you they've sold out so just please be careful please be careful right well how much was that? I didn't see how much it was 9.99 9.99 Right, then these are all my Easter kits that I've got in the first hour. Then this is our exclusive to Sewing Street uh, hour. Then we've got Stuart's fabric. Right, now look, here we go. So now I've got this as a bundle of meters fabric. Um, and you get one metre free. I've got a bundle of fat quarters and I've got fabrics by the half metre. However, look, that one's sold out. That one's sold out. Look at the price. Look at the price. It's 100% cotton, quilting weight, beautiful fabric, right? Then we got his books in. Then, look, here's the other. I don't think you've seen this here before, have you, Kyoto? Uh, we've got that. Uh, now, all we've got to that is the bundles of the ha half meters, bundles of the fat quarters, bundles, uh, a design roll, and there's a 12 meter pack as well. Um, where's the half meter? Anyway, I'll come to that in a minute. There you go. And there, so the half meter packs aren't everything. The only way you can get everything is if you buy the big bundle there. And they're all meters, aren't they? They're all meters. Gorgeous, right? Then, the, then we Liberty Fabrics. Liberté, Liberté, Liberté. Then there'll be nothing after that because obviously we haven't loaded up Yarn Lane at the moment. But Yarn Lane, the, 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 we're going to be putting the Yarn Lane things on the Sewing Street page, aren't we? So then don't go to Yarn Lane to find it. Just stay where you are. What was happening was we would finish, we were finishing Sewing Street. I was saying, oh, by then, by then. Then by the time we set everything up for Yarn Lane, it was like quarter past the hour, wasn't it? So now we're just carrying straight on with it. So if you want Yarn Lane, stay where you are at 12 o'clock. And Stuart's doing uh, Stripe Up Your Life. Right. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, Charlie, you just missed one. Uh, we're going on pre-order right now so what is there on the can we show it are we able to show it well we'll show i don't know how quickly it goes on you see because we'll need to show it to you in a minute yeah it's on, it's on there it's on there right i can show you I can show you right so i've got something to tell you as well so here we go right so uh style craft there needles uh colors of the world there they all are. There they all are. Now, I need to tell you something. 
We're just doing the balls on their own today, no bundles. However, if you buy anything from this range, whether it be one ball of wool, what about the knitting needles? Does it have to be the wool? Right, it has to be the wool. If you buy any of the yarn, the wool, right, your name will go in a hat and one of you will win this. There should be a signed photo in there, shouldn't there? One of you will win this, which sold out last time. We haven't got this available today. We haven't got this available. You get six balls of yarn, needles and the instructions. And I'm sure Stuart will throw in a signed photo as well. What's the matter? Oh, yes. And while stocks last, you buy one ball of yarn, you get a free pattern. You do get a free pattern as well. All the patterns are free on the Stylecraft website, so that's just, that's that. Right, <coughs> a bundle, 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 it's back in stock, back in stock, back in stock. Now, here it is, this is the bot one you can make. This is, uh, it was especially designed for me, it was on the first day of the birthday week. It sold out, right, it sold out before we even got onto air. So that's the finished doorstop. However, I'll show you in a minute, you don't have to make a doorstop out of it if you don't want to. So let me show you what you get for your fourteen ninety nine before I start, right? So you get the instructions. Oh, hang on. Am I in the right place? There you go. You get the instructions. I can't, I can't zoom in or out or anything. It's all broken today. And you get the panel. Now, as I said on the first birthday show, if you've bought a shop panel before, this cotton is finer than the craft cotton that we used then. It's still gorgeous cotton, but I think you'll need to either interface it or H640 it. So I'm just saying, do what? I'll show that in a second. So what you've got on the panel is you've got your roofs here. You've got your a front and back of the shop and the sides of the shop there. You've got your inner roof here. You've got your bunting here. This is your handle. Uh, I think that's just spare fabric, that one. They, they've got um, Luther and Ghost, my two cats. You've got John Scott signature for the shop there. You've got your little um, lotus flowers there. Little pots of Two little knees with funny little legs. Look, Charlie legs, look. They're like Charlie legs, aren't they? Then you've got the front door. Then you've got your windows, your corset tree, your ball gowns, your evening dresses. And then there's more windows over here. Hats and fascinators. Maison de mode. How many? A third of the stock of the bundle has gone. A third of the stock, of, and we had loads. We had loads of these. A third of the stock's gone. Now, you don't have to make, if you don't want to make a doorstop out of it, have a look. We've got about four different uh, pictures to show you here. Right, okay, so this one's first. This is my take on John Scott's doorstep. I've made it into a sewing storage box. Luckily, I had several sheets of mount board to put it in. That's D King, that one. D King. Thank you, D, my love. Then we got this one, finished my doorstop and made it into a pin cushion and somewhere to put my clips. Seems a shame to put John in front of the door. You haven't put a name on that one. Oh, it's not on our screen here. Okay, it's Petra, that one. Petra, on my screen here, it stops at the door, that's all. And then, okay, go back to me first. I've got a couple more to show, is it two more, three more? Uh, my John Don's got I used all the bits and even made the tag using the additional John now attached to a Liberty Betsy butterfly from D. So if you've made it up, do send in your picture. Send in your picture. You've got this first hour to do it in. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. It's the only way you can send in a picture. How brilliant is that? Teresa from lovely sunny Essex says Teresa. Roxana says hi all at Sewing Street. Thanks for the tour earlier. I like the table. You have the clock set on. Yeah, that's not ours. That's the studio next door. That's Lifestyle Studio. We don't know where that table's come from. Um, Karen says, good morning. Helen says, good morning. Christine says, morning. Watching you by the canal in the sunshine. Ooh, how lovely. So the bundle, $14.99. Please check out. Lots of people just got it in their baskets. Check out, check out, check out. Right now, if you want to buy the panel on its own. No, there's only 20 left. There's only 20 of the panel left on its own. People are multi-buying. <clears throat> People are multi-buying. Oh no, there are 20 left and 21 in baskets. Please check out. Please check out as soon as you can. I don't know if I can release any of the panel after that. They've gone. I'm not sure if I can release any of the panel on their own. Just so you know. Nine pounds. 
You, if you've already got your instructions, so if you already bought the John Scott shop, you'll already have the instructions. Or if you bought any of the door, sh door stop shops before, like the haberdashery shop, the florist, all the instructions are the same. It's just up to you where you put these. Now, I'll just show you here, because Alice and Marion made this one. Uh, who on the EPG might say you'll still say that she was in today. She's not very well. She's in on Sunday. Uh, there's the cat. There's ghost. There's me in front of the door. Some people have put me behind the door. There's your windows. There's a hanging basket on that side. Then on this side here, you see you've got your, win uh, your windows and your bunting. Then on the back there, you've got the upstairs window. It's where I live. That's my little flat there. And then your bespoke corsetry here. And Vic sent me a message late last night because um, she went to visit a friend of hers who's owned the chip shop, a very trendy chip shop, and they live above the, above, above the chip shop, yeah? And then there's the other window there, and there's uh, Luther there sitting inside the window. You can put them wherever you want. <coughs> uh, do you want me to do it that way around? There you go. There. Oh, there you go, there you go. Could you do what? Yeah, there's one. There's one there. That one's Ghost, because Ghost always climbs on the windowsills and, and the fireplace and everything like that. Whereas Luther likes just to be... Does what? Seven of the panel left on its own now. Seven of the panel on its own. And 35 people got it in their baskets. Uh, message from Stacey. Morning, John. Just ordered your panel. Can't wait to make it up. Thank you, Stacey, my lovely. Right, go back to the bundle because the, the panel on its own is about to sell out. So how many of these have we got left? Okay, and how many did I start with? Oh, come keep going through. Lots of people got this in your basket. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Make sure you check out on that one. There's a small queue on the phone lines. This what? Yeah, I think we hadn't warned them, had we? I do apologise, I'll be with you any second now. We walked past the call centre earlier, it's upstairs in this building. You can make it in a money box, yeah, of course you could. I don't know where, oh yes, because what you could do is you make it in a money box, you put the slit at the top there where the handle goes in, you just put the money straight in. That's a good idea. Keep going through, it's only 14 99 Now, instructions are only 9 99 A panel that big would normally be 12 99 wouldn't it? Except it's 9 99 Well, there you go. 9 99 and five pounds for instructions. You get a good deal on everything today. Message from Tara. Hooray, managed to get mine and Natalie's. Cheers, Don, from Tara. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you. So many people, and like I say, when we came to air, there was one not checked out when we came to air, and there were hundreds on the birthday day. Um, I've got it back now. Got it back, got it back. Got a message from Jan. Uh, oh, it's Jan Jan. Morning, gorgeous. Few just got it. Just made it. Got two and a ball of Stuart's yarn and a pack of bunny tail pom poms. Right. Okay. Now you'll be in the competition then, Jan, to win the ball. If you've bought one, one, one of Stuart's yarns, you'll be in the competition to win that big box of yarn. I know. Fourteen ninety nine. It's not if you buy anything in the twelve o'clock hour. It's if you buy some of the style craft Stuart yarn. Beautiful. Fourteen ninety nine. Now I might come back to that in a minute. Because I need to get on, don't I, really? Right, bits you might need to go with it. Right, toy stuffing, first of all. Well, yes, toy stuffing. No, no, I think because the stuffing is the last thing you do, isn't it? I was, going I was going through it methodically in my brain. But I'll do the toy stuffing first. There it is. This is the recycled one. I used to be a plastic bottle, 4 99 Oh, Julie's going to make hers into a box. Uh, she said it's such a beautiful panel, thank you. Other people are asking me, Margaret asked me last night if I'm going to do more door stops. No, this is the only door stop I'm going to design. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, but there will there might be other. I haven't thought what they are yet, but I was thinking of Pouffet, Mary John Scott Pouffet. Margaret wanted me to do a mannequin shaped pin cushion. Uh, I've got a price comparison, have I? Oh, exactly the same thing. Look, it is a direct comparison. Eight ninety nine. Uh, oh no, hang on. eight pounds. Can't see it from here. Eight pounds. Message John now. Yay! I got your doorstop. I'm going to use it as a sewing box. It's far too nice for the floor. Looking forward to your book. Oh, Joanne. Now I got in touch with my, the designer of the book this week. Right? 
And she's like, I've met, she said, I've made so many mistakes today. I'm not going to, I've only done 20 pages, which is a lot, right? Uh, there'll be an awful lot more than that, but she's done 20. Anyway, she then said, oh, my husband's got COVID. Anyway, I said, are you all right? She said, yeah, I'm fine. I'm testing negative. I'm testing negative. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. She came down, she said, but my head's really foggy. Anyway, she messaged me last night and got COVID. She said, I feel better now that I've tested positive, but I've got COVID. And another friend of mine, um, a director, film director, she and her husband both got it yesterday. I've got so many friends who got it yesterday. Not yet, because that's that was that. Four ninety nine. Keep going through. Uh, hooray, got mine. I'm going to do cushions, says Lorraine. Oh, that'd be lovely. Don't you be sitting on me though, Lorraine. Right, okay. So that's your polyester craft filling. I'll put that there. I've got a table at the side here, like a jumble sale table. Polythene recycled pellets, if you are going to make a doorstop out of it, you need something to weight it down. Now, what you need to do is make a little bag that fits into the bottom. Oh, if you want to see it being made, by the way, 28th of February, Alison Marion, uh, was it 10 o'clock? I can't remember if it was 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. Or it might be 9 o'clock, actually. 9 o'clock. 11? Was she on 11 o'clock? Oh, no, hang on, it was birthday. We had, everybody did different, it was weird, wasn't it? No, no, because we did the eight hours. So 11 o'clock, I knew it was her first show, that's why I was saying nine o'clock, but of course she did 11 o'clock and one o'clock, didn't she? The pellets, these are recycled polyethylene pellets, one kilo, kilogram. Now, remember, if you, if you went to see Vicky in the post office, they put that in the post, that would cost you more than 3 95 wouldn't it? It's a kilo. Do you know what I mean? If you've already checked out, hmm? Yeah, yeah, if you already checked out your early birds or something else, the so PMP's one PMP for the whole day. Jill says, good morning, John. I've got lymph node infections and I'm on antibiotics. Oh, Jill. Oh, take care, my love. Take care. Um, what do you say? You can do what? We'll keep an eye on the fans page. If anyone puts... Oh, no, because I've got rid of that. I got rid of that post. Yeah, if you want to put it on the fans page or send in your picture of you, of your doorstop you've already made, please do. Right, things that I haven't got here, but I'll show you pictures of that I think you quite, might quite like. Iron-on interfacing, that's what I would use. I would use iron-on interfacing on the back. Other people have made it and haven't used this and said it's absolutely fine, but I would use this. 3 99 iron it on. Just to make it a little bit more sturdy. Message from Susan. Oh, on here. Um, I bought the panel on birthday week and still not had time to sew it yet. Please, can you sell more time? Oh, listen, I, I could do more time in my life as well. I've had the time of my life. Um, right, 8640, if you want to make it more squidgy. Iron on H640. If you're going to make a bath or bag out of it, you can make a little handbag out of it. Ah, Tilda, she's got a handbag made out of her house, hasn't she? You can make a little handbag out of it. Oh, wouldn't it be nice? A little clutch bag. Go for lunch with your girlfriends, right? You've got a little clutch bag and you've got your phone, your keys, your wallet, your mints, your tissues, lippy. You can see that, can't that arriving in some posh restaurant? Little black dress. Or you're going to, you're going to stay for pleasure today. Put your purse in there, all safe. Don't put it down anywhere. Now, if you go to Sewing for Pleasure today, uh, yeah, avoid the gin bar, because Hayley will be there all day, apparently. Hayley's going to be there. Is Ian going to be there? Ian's going to be there. Paul's going to be there. Barry's going to be there. Now, now I, I think you'll... I call him Barry the Bald Beautiful Book Buyer Who Blushes, right? He's not beautiful. You'll see him, and you'll go, why does John call him beautiful? Just so you know. Um, who else can be there? Now, Kerry's got a stall there. Um, Catherine's got a stall there. You'll see a Jenny Jackson on the Jukey stall. You see Mark on the Jukey stall. You see Adam on the Jukey stall. Uh, oh, gorgeous George, he'll be on the Jukey stall. Gary, Gary will be there. Uh, there must be loads of people. Oh, um, uh, Jules Fallon's there. Uh, who's there? Oh, Debbie Harris is there. Yeah, Debbie Harris got a stall there. Uh, there must be loads of our team that are all there. Anyway, have a, have a lovely... Now, if you're looking for... Um, Catherine, right, she's not in the sewing bit, she's in the craft bit. She's got a shop in the sewing bit, but she's in the craft bit. Who? Oh. We're going to go on Saturday, we think, after the show, if we can get tickets. Apparently, I'm pushing Maisie. No, Hannah can do that. 
We've only got, the thing is we'll have to separate. We can't all walk around in a group of four and a baby in a pram. At 9.99, that's for the, that's for the um, H640. Now you will need Bondweb. We've got Bondweb, I've got Bondweb here. Got Bondweb. 2.99. We haven't got the rolling, so you won't need the roll for this. You, could, you can make it out of this. Make it out of this one, definitely. You don't need the roll for that one. Panel on its own is sold out. And how many does that mean I've got left of the... Um, of the right, okay, I know this sounds a lot, but so many... We've only got 94 of the, of the bundle left. Now, I know you'll be thinking, oh, 94, that's hundreds... Well, 94, not hundreds. That's loads, John. It is, but if you think of how many have gone already... Uh, and also, it's only half past eight. Lots of people haven't woken up yet. Lots of people haven't woken up yet. So that will go. They will go today. Uh, so this is your bundle web. Now, this is a strip. Oh, here we go. Morning, John. I'm visiting NEC Friday and Saturday, so looking forward to it, mate. See you there. Emma, come and say hello. I'll be there. I'll be going. I'm on the show on Saturday, so we'll go straight after the show. I love there are two of you on the doorstop. I'm putting you in the bakery, too. <gasps> what, like this? Eating a cake. I can hear voices. Oh, no, I can see. I can see. <laughs> I didn't see Stuart creep in then. 2 99 Oh, hang on, what's the message? John, can you help? Karen, if I'll try, let me know what it is. Let me know what it is, and I'll, I'll help you. Put, uh, write, write in again, write in again, write in again. Anyway, Bondweb, 2.99. This is a strip that is 17 and a half centimetres wide by 1.2 metres length. Yeah. Oh, I should have got Stuart to do that for me. Son. Just show you. Look, plenty. Just take, just, just cut your pieces out and then you put your house along there. Oh, no, you don't need to do the house. You only do the windows. It's more than enough there. More than enough. I was thinking it was the interfacing, of course, then. Oh, now I've got to try and fold it back up again. Oh, no, I'll put it away on the side there. Right, that, so that's my... Now, let, let's just put the panel and the instructions in one more time before I move on. So these are the instructions. And this is the panel. You can put me wherever you want. Put me on the roof if you want. Uh, some people have put me in front of the door. Alice, Alice, where have I put mine? Alice and Marion put me in front of the door like that. Someone else, that was one of the pictures, was it D? put me inside the door? I don't know if she did that, she put me inside the door. But you can put me in any, you can put me in that window there if you want, cover up a couple of courses, put me in the, be the bedroom window there, getting ready in the morning. Put me on the roof, if you like. Put me underneath, so you'd have to look at me, put me there, and then it's on the floor that way. I can imagine a lot of you'd want to do that. Anyway, keep going through. Cannot find John's panel kit on pre-order. Janice, it's underneath us. It's there, it's there. The panel on its own is sold out, but the kit is still there, 14 99 And there's the code, there's the code. You don't need pre-order, just there's the code. Good morning, John. Just managed to get the doorstop bundle. Love your shirt, you look great. Keep on doing what you're doing and making us feel good. Jacqueline, come Do you know what, Jacqueline? I had the weirdest day yesterday. I woke up feeling really sad. And I just thought, oh, do you know what? It's the world. It's not a nice place. At the, not a nice place because there's so much good. For all the horrible things that's going on, it makes good, you know, there's lots of goodness around. Like, hugged. But I felt really, re and I, anyway, I started some cleaning. I thought, oh, do you know what? I've got to go out. I got a bit angry with my um, opticians. I'll go into that another day. I can't bother to. But the lady that I met, she wasn't very friendly at all. So I was a bit grumpy about that. And I'd just given all my old glasses because they um, take your old glasses, don't they? And, and send them to the children in Africa and things like that. So I'd done that, and then she was really a bit off with me, so I've complained. <laughs> never, never cross me through the shop, because I'll be straight home and I'll be on that complaining. Anyway, um, in a nice way. Anyway, I, I, you know I've got that lovely big Indian 16th or 17th century carved sofa in my... Oh, you'd like it, Charlie. You'd like it. Anyway, it's never, ever, ever had cushions on it, right? I've always just had your cushions that you've made me or whatever. So I'll, I'm having a full... And that's the, it's the size of a three-seater sofa. So it's a big, big cushion. I thought, what? 
Uh, no, well, Ghost sits on it now. Ghost sits on it now. Lucy doesn't go on it anymore. Anyway, I've got the people who made my sofa to make me a cushion for it, right? So I chose the fabric, and she came over and she went, oh, just you, John. You've only picked the most f expensive fabric in the whole shop. Anyway, while I was looking for the fabric for the cushion, I saw this beautiful fabric. So I've also, also ordered, well, I can't afford it. I've also ordered a whole new sofa cover. Whole new, uh, nine cushions and the sofa cushions, add to Picasso's and everything. It's beautiful. You know, when it's ready, I'll let you see it. Anyway, so that didn't make me feel any better. Normally, shopping makes me feel a bit better. So then I bought some cake. I went home and had my cake and my coffee. That didn't make me feel any better. I was in a really, really strange mood. But my friend Jennifer, the medium, she's not a medium, she's an extra large, but she's a medium, right? She said, there's so much going on. There's so much going on, John, at the moment. I can't get into it all at the moment. So, and it's a full moon. T tomorrow full moon tomorrow it's very bright this morning wasn't it anyway I'll, I'll get on I'll get on I'll stop chatting uh, it's nice to see you today I tested positive yesterday and I feel a bit rubbish you and Stuart will cheer me up Nikki how many people do we know how many people well, five I had five friends who all found out yesterday they got it I, I'm fine I tested last night I'm fine no, no, they're five completely separate. There's nothing to do with each other. Oh, they're all in different parts of the country. Two in Birmingham, two in London. You know what I mean? There's, no, no, they're all different. Uh, question from Karen. Uh, technology blip. John, can you help me, please? Should I use BondWeb to attach a feature bias binding to the bottom of tool netting? Hang on, let me just do this. Should I use BondWeb to attach a feature bias binding to the bottom of tool netting? Um, how are you attaching it? Is it right at the bottom? Is it like just a bias binding around the edge? Because you don't need, you, all you do is you fold it, so you've got, your, so you've got your, your bias binding and it'll have the two bits going in. You fold it over, press it so it's in half, and then just slide the tool in and then top stitch along it. That's what I do. Is that what you mean? Or do you mean, is it above? Is it above? You be careful also, um, if you put bonder web on tool, also you need to be careful that your bias binding is not too heavy because your tool is going to be very, very light, isn't it? If your bias binding is heavy, it's going to make you go like that. And um, also ironing tool, be, please be careful ironing tool. If you're going to, I wouldn't iron bonder web onto it at all. Um, if you want, I'll just hold it while you're stitching it. I'd use a fabric pen, just dabs of a, a, a yeah, fabric glue pen, just dabs of it every now and then. Because what you don't want to do is make the bias binding so heavy that the tool just sags like that. It'd be interesting. Interesting to know what you're doing. John, good for you. You can't take it with you. And I haven't got it in the first place to take with me. And then I texted Kat last night saying, I'm going to do the lottery. It was 24 minutes past seven. And, I saw, and we mentioned the lottery, I said, I've still got time. So I ran to my computer and I bought three things for last night's lottery. And I said, if I win, I'll come in and I'll do the 8 o'clock show and then Stuart can take over. I'm off on the life of luxury. Didn't even win a lot. Didn't win anything at all. Can we please have Stuart's other fabrics available to buy by the meter, please? The Kyoto ones are only in bundles. Oh, OK, Anila, that's not up to us. We'll have to ask the buying team. It won't be today. It won't be today. It'll be to do with, because you know how popular they are, it could be to do with, because Stuart obviously doesn't supply it. There is a fabric, he designs it for a fabric company. The fabric company might not even have it. That might be all they've got. Fabulous shirt, John. Shopping never cheers me up, but sewing does, or I bake. Yeah, well, Susie, what good's that to me? When you're not here, and then when you were last time, oh, did she, no, she brought lovely cake last time, I think, didn't she? And we've had a question. That was Susie Duncan, by the way. Um, morning, please would you tell me how much yarn is in one pack? Thank you, Linda. There you go. I'll tell you, I've got them here. So, uh, 400 metres, it says. 437 yards. 100 grams. 100 grams. That's how much is in each one. Do you need to know anything else? Um, it's even got his picture. Well, now, he'll not like me for saying this, right? Can you see that close? See that picture there close? Look, right, there's designed by, can you see that? Why is there a picture of Mark Francis on there? They should have coloured it in ginger, shouldn't they? Anyway, oh, Alicante. Morning, John, send you virtual help. Can you help? How many grams of wool is in Schultz wool pack? It just says colours the world, colours the world. Um, thank you, says Winifred in Alicante. That's more like it, Tell The what? Right, shall we get on? Look at the time. Oh, it's 22, it's 22, it's 22. Um, how many panels, how many of those left? 
Right, please be careful now. We get, we're getting to limited now. Getting to limited. Right, okay. Two village. Now, I thought these had sold out. These were also uh, exclusive to Sewing Street. I'll do the chicky chick bag first, if that's all right. Oh, it looks tiny on the look. <laughs> Uh, uh, this is Village Fabrics, Easter Chicks, gift bag, and now there's two gifts in there as well, for your 15 99 What date did Yvonne McAtamney do these, please? 20, oh, I thought we did them on the birthday week. 23rd of February. Oh, no, that's right, because she's back. It was the same day she did her quilt, and she's back on the 23rd of March, I believe. There it is, that's the web image. Charlie's very serious today, isn't he? What's the matter, Charlie? Morning, John. What's the matter? Morning, John. Desperate for shirts, wool, and cannot see any on the website. You cheer me up no end. I'm housebound and can't be without sewing street. Jane, it's there. Go to... I'll show you. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it for you, Jane. Now, we'll do it for you. You go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. You click on Watch the Show Live. You go down. Now, you go into pre-order on the right-hand side there. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Long way to go because it's not till 12 o'clock, look. There, there it is. That's the wall. That's the yarn there. That's the yarn there. Per ball, 100 gram ball is there, right? That's why it looks weird, doesn't it? Because it doesn't look like. Now, also, what might you might need to do is you might need to go out of it and come back into it. Because if you're still in for in it from when you all started watching at eight o'clock, you need to refresh it. You say, right? Tell me your request for tomorrow, and I'll bake after I finish my prep today. You're not in tomorrow, Susie. Susie's not in tomorrow, is she? Is she? Have I put it on my Facebook page? I'm so confused. It's Tuesday tomorrow, isn't it? John, are you a Spice Girl? I love the blonde hair. Ha <laughs> ha. What are you talking about, Jenny? No idea what you're talking about. Now I know I to get to the bottom of Charlie, are you all right? Are you sure? You're positive? I'll come and give you a hug in the break. Oh, that's made it worse. That's made it worse. Friday tomorrow, and it's Susie Duncan in tomorrow. I like your lemon. I like your lemon drizzle, but surprise me, surprise me, surprise me, surprise me. Another village fabric kit. What's the matter? Well, oh, apparently Charlie's crying in the corner now. Oh no! Don't show him if he's upset. You can only see the top of his head on gallery cam anyway. There he is. There he is. Wave, Charlie. We can't see you on our screen. Is he there? Oh, it's only fourteen. I know. Oh, hey, hey, hey. 1999. This is Peeps and Hoppity. Have we got a web picture of this? Now, this is gorgeous, but it's not very big. It's only 12 and a half by 19 inches. Nice for table. Uh, uh, what, what? There's patchwork. There's piecing. Applique. Quilt. It's lovely. It's a really lovely project. Gorgeous. Oh, now. Oh, no, that's right, that's right, that's right. You might not get this fabric. Oh, let me show you there. You, there's a choice of two different fabrics. You could get one or the other. One is like the fried eggs, like that. And then the other one is the little dots that you see on the front of there, like that. 1999. Morning, John. Loving the doorstop. Thank you, Crazy Lorraine. Lynn says, morning, John. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Doesn't matter about the lighting. You always look fabulous. Oh, Lynn, you're very kind. June. <clears throat> I've been feeling a bit off emotionally for the last few days. So go, so much going on in the world. I think it's also, June, there's so much going on in the world because of the planets all colliding and everything. I think that's what it is. The, and also, like my, you know, I've got my new front door, my new back door. When I came out yesterday, because we had rain all day yesterday, it was disgusting. The whole of the, my doorstep was like um, sandy colour. And apparently it's all the sand coming from the Sahara. London's worse than we are up here. Yep, yeah, and you remember I tell you when I was filming that James Bond film and, and we were filming one day in Chemini, the snow was white, came the next day and it was pink. Same thing happened back in the sky in London last night. It was orange and then it went pink. 1999, this is lovely little kit, this. And got a couple more messages. The width of bias binding confuses me. I either order it too thin or too thick. Make your own, Julie. Uh, just bought the doorstop job kit. Very happy, says Lulu. What's this one here? Oh, that's from you. Title change. What's, you, what's that? What have you sent? Oh, what? You, 
Oh, apparently to watch Sound Street 24-7 is what you need to look for now on YouTube. Right, still on the Sound Street channel. So if you just put in Sound Street, will you find it? Oh, so why has it changed then? Bernadette says, good morning. Uh, John and team. John, I've been feeling like crying. It flood. That, that's it, that's it, that's it, Bernadette. That's exactly it. I also saw the moon had a cloak see-through over it Tuesday morning. We'll be fine. We'll be fine if we all stick together, Bernadette. Don't you worry, my love. What's the matter? Right, OK, next. Alison Marion. This one here. Oh, hang on. Right, OK, so I've only got the bundle to... Oh, oh, I see. So basically, you get the patterns for free. You're getting the pattern for free. So it's an Easter table runner using, I love this one. We've had this one before. In fact, I might have had this one last Easter. What do you mean? Oh, I see what you mean. Whereabouts? Under the coats. You have a look at this. Yeah. I'm looking for that table runner, Becky. Oh, Becky doesn't like you touching her box. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, it's in that one there. I'll come in in a minute. Oh. She, is it, do you know if it's in there? Have you seen it? Do you know what you're looking for? I'll go back here because I've got to be on telly. I saw. This, is that in there? Becky doesn't recognise it. Anyway, you get now this panel costs nineteen ninety nine if you buy it on its own, but you're getting it now with the Easter table runner instructions. Good morning from Sunny Marlow, says Christine. Good morning, Christine. One from Elaine. John, so please see Stuart Sharn on pre order, knitted a sample. Sometimes just seeing the ball doesn't show the full beauty. Oh, you see that works for Elaine, you see. I that confused me, Elaine. Uh, Karen, thank you, John. Uh, was called away from TV, so I'll catch up with your reply later. I was trying to finish my project quicker. Oh, Karen, uh, it was quite a long-winded thing, so I won't go through it again, yeah? What are you making? What are you making? What is it? Is it like the edge of a bridal veil? Or is it the overlay of a bridal's dress? What is it? I'm intrigued now. Oh, was it, oh which Karen was it? Oh, sorry. Oh, you, well done. Right at the bottom of the box. Kat said she'd hidden it right at the bottom of the box. Here you go. Here you go. Look, I'll hold it up for you. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah, you can, we can use as much. Well, yeah, this has, got, this has just got spotty on the back there. You can use whatever you want. Just keep going as long as you need it to be. So in here, I'm presuming there's a template in here. Look, yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, Elliot might pop in today. Well, I, I put on Facebook that he got a new job, not Facebook, on LinkedIn, and I just put, where's my blow-up mattress? All these other people going, good luck, mate, good luck, mate. Uh, I've got Stuart's box of yarn last time. I have a few questions for him. If I email the mail, will it be passed on to him to help if he can from Alicia? Yes, email it to studio at... So do it now, then Kat can print it. Have we got a printer here? We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out if we've got a printer. Um, we'll print it up and we'll give it to Stuart later. He might not sh answer it on the show today, but he'll definitely, he's very good like that. He'll get back to you. Dorothy, John, great show as always. Is there any chance of doing men's cycling clothing? Like what? Like, oh no, I'd look like, I'd look like a sausage that had burst its seams if you put me in lycra. Um, well, I'll, I can't put it on your list of things. We need, an, we, need a, we need an expert in men's cycling gear. Uh, so happy I've ordered your door stop. The sky here in Cumbria was vivid pink last night, says Julie. There you go, you see? The world, something's happening in the world, isn't it? It's all for the best. These things happen for a reason, but just sad, isn't it? Good morning, John team. Happy St. Patrick's Day from sunny Ireland. How are you? Uh, going to be spending the morning with ye from Neve in County Clare. Now, did you watch, Neve? did you watch the new Graham Norton series? It's, well, it's from his book, and Cathy Burke's directed it. I think it's called Holding. And it's in a little village in Ireland. And they keep mentioning Skibbereen and Baltimore and Ballady Hob, which is where I did that film. What, what film did I do that? Um, War of the Buttons. 
And I was based in Skibbereen and Baltimore and everything. I love it. You guessed it, John. The overlay of a bridesmaid's dress. There you go. The thing is, well, I never used to finish tool. I used to cut it and leave it. I did, I did a, a bridesmaid dress for a royal member and I had to stitch. I can't, I can't tell you which, which royal it was because she's divorced now. Uh, anyway, we had to stitch lots of emblems onto a, um, a tool thing. It took ever, forever. Oh, Neve, uh, based in Cork. Haven't watched it yet on my list. Yeah, it's based in Cork, but it's in a little village outside. They don't, they don't, I think it's a made-up village. But I keep looking at it and going, oh, is that in Skibbereen? I can't remember if that was in Skibbereen. It's years ago I was there now. What's almost sold out? Bunny tails. I told you. I did tell you. Rye demanded these. They weren't in the schedule. I'll just show you them. Right, if you see uh, Barry, the bald book buyer, at... Um, is that his dreadful picture? It is, isn't it? Yeah. That at the uh, Stone for Pleasure today, ask him to get more of these. And say, good picture. 99p, you get five of these, they in shop. Yeah, they are. They're bunny tails. Not real bunny tails, obviously. Message from whom? Morning, John. Could you please ask the buyers for flannel fabric for making rag quilts? Lots of sculptures, colours. Love, Andrea. Put it on the list. Put it on the list. I know I've asked that one before. I have asked for that one before. We do ask. They just ignore us now. Anyway, there's your bunny tails. Nine time pink. Nine pounds, 99 pence. What time's? Oh, look at the time. Oh, it's only me next hour anyway, isn't it? Morning, John. The colour of the sky yesterday was due to a cloud of dust from the Sahara. Thank you for keeping us entertained from Katie in Essex. Thank you, Katie. I know that's what happened when we were in doing that, um, that Bond film in Chamonix. They, uh, they just brought all the um, sand with it. The, the bunny tails. Wondering, if you're wondering why we've got these, we've got two Helen Newton kits here. We've got the pink one, first of all. So what you get in the kit is the instructions. You get half a metre of your white fabric, a fat quarter of your pink fabric, and your bunny tails. 17.99, you will need stuffing. Did she? I don't think she did interfacing, did she on these? Oh, hello, Mo. We've been getting beautiful northern lights displays over the past week, so nature's consolation for all the miseries going on. Do you know what, Mo? I went to Tromso for a week, and I had to stay in this miserable town. We never saw them once. Just rained and snowed all week. Oh, but, in, but and now who does I say? In Scotland, like what Mo said, in Scotland, they're brilliant at the moment. 1799, I'll go to Iceland, stay in one of those glass domes, that'd be nice. Great in a van. The sky was yellow here yesterday. I wondered what it was. Uh, Karen says, hi, John. I'm back at my happy place by the sea. Oh, she's in Prostatin. I have my John Scott doorstop wheel with me and we'll be making it this week. Right, okay, Karen, you have to think of me because we used to come on holiday there when I was a child and we used to stay, it wasn't as posh as yours, we used to stay in one of those long static caravans, green it was on the beach and everything. Lovely, 1976 was the last time I went. Good morning, John, from a not a cloud in the sky, Liskiard. Now, Liskiard Lorna. Oh, that's your nickname, Liskiard Lorna. I was there, Lorna, doing that, um, yeah. Then I've got the blue one. I've obviously got the pattern on its own as well. So you get half a metre of the white, fat quarter of the blue, and your bunny tails. 17.99. It was, it was light this morning. Yeah, no, but you see the clocks will go forward next week and it'll be dark again. Yeah. No, in the morning gets darker because really you're driving in at five o'clock in the morning rather than six o'clock in the morning. She was late. So, yeah, what was that all about? Ice on the car this morning. I came down to my car and I opened the door. It didn't look icy. I opened the door, the back door to put my, lay my clothes on the back seat. It was like, why well, won't the door open? It's frozen together. It was yours in Wolverhampton. Yep. Bonada. I'm so looking forward to Stuart at 12 o'clock later. Oh, thanks. Shall I just go then? I'll, I'll just, I'll, just me on my own before then. No, he's in at 10 o'clock. He's in at 10 as well. But I know you're looking forward to his knitting. Pattern on its own. Maureen, John started making the table runner. Uh, just started making the table runner and I stuck my rabbits on the wrong material. So stripped rabbits and floral chicks. Hang on, I've just started making them. Striped, striped, is that what I meant to say? 
I'm a bit confused. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, I see. So your chickens are made out of the wrong fabric and your, it doesn't matter. No one will notice. Wendy says, morning, loving the show. Thank you. Here's the pattern on its own now. I was, Charlie's just showing the web image. Fantastico. Right, so let's just do, and then I'll do a recap of mine. So we'll do this one first. So all this is finished with here. Thank you, Becky. Not that. Right, this comes in two colourways, right? Oh! They're, right, yours will. So which one are we doing first? Pink first. You will get two metres of white. You'll get half a metre of a lovely soft pink. And you get the panel. And you get the instructions for 34 99 I promise you, you will get your fabric. We just haven't got it. It's a lovely, gentle, soft pink there. And then this is the panel you get here. It's just the border. It's just for the border. And then these are all the cut. Now, what date did we make this? Helen, make this. 24th of February. June says, I love it when you and Stuart are on together. The stories and the banter are hilarious. Oh, I don't know if they will be today. Very serious today. Um, no, and also, we don't have a dress... We, when we're normally in together, we have a dressing room each, right? But today, there's me, him, there's the blonde girl from Gems, there's... Who's on in on Joymaker? Is it Carol? I didn't see Carol, but Carol coming in out to Joymaker. And everyone just walking in and out. It's not like a dressing room. So I said to say him, I'm ever so sorry, I'm going to take my trousers down to Joymaker. He's like, that's all right. And then he went like this. He went like this. He went, oh, this mirror needs cleaning. <laughs> Stuart's first time in the dressing room thing. Imogen, love your shirt today from Imogen in some, sunny Suffolk. Oh, I love it in Suffolk. Have you been to see Stuart's shop? He's in Long Melford. Right, then I can also do this in the blue. Don't need to move anything. You will get two metres of the white, half a metre of the pale blue for your border. Oh, well, that's nice. And what? Oh, that's nice. Right, very quickly, before I go to the break, my bundle now. What we'll do is we'll see if I can release any more of these in the break. I don't know if I can, because I don't... How many are left? Oh, you can't work out the maths. Oh, be, please be careful. I doubt they will be, but please just go through on this one. 14 99 How many people got in their baskets? Oh, my word. They won't release any. They won't release any. Actually, so take that number. 19. There's 19 left. If all you've all checked out, there are 19 of these left. They won't be releasing any of them. Please check out your basket. There's only 19 left. We had hundreds of them. Only 19 left. Once you've all checked out. Okay, just so you know, Hayley must be watching 34 minutes ago. I designed it. Well, who else is blooming well going to design it? Gorgeous, isn't it? Make sure you check out, make sure you check out, make sure you check out. Fabulous. Right, I'm going to go for a break now. Um, if you... Uh, what am I doing? Oh, it's exclusive. It's... Um, Sewing Street exclusive. So it's uh, ones that designers like Delphine or Al Amanda Little and people like that. Uh, and what else is on there? There's loads on there. There's all sorts of things. Fabric crack. I will say, well, I, oh, yeah. Oh, now we need to check that fabric, don't we? We will see you in four minutes from now. Hi there. My name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? 
why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Becky's got a flapjack and she was trying to open the packet before we came. I was going five, four. She was like struggling and she just, when I went one, it just burst open like that. Right, this hour is called Exclusive to Sewing Street, right? Which my panel is and my, which I designed. Uh, now, um, I asked for this to be in here because I was watching the other day. Not doing it yet. I just wanted to warn you, this, warn you, tell you it's coming. Rebecca Reed launched this on Monday and it's the most exquisite fabric. And I'm, I don't care that it might not be exclusive to Sewing Street, but I want to do this because I love it. I absolutely love it. But we'll do that later. We'll do that later because I've got to start with these first. So I've got um, fat quarter bundles here cut by us. Now, obviously, the fabric's not exclusive to us, but the bundles are because we put them together for you. Which one would you like? Mixer one first. Okay, so in this one, you get a, a blue um, splodgy one. Oh, hang on, it's a bit messy, this, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. You get a blue splodgy one. You get a yellow splodgy one. Oh, they're all splodgy. You get a purple splodgy one, a green splodgy one. No, a plain black one. An orange splodge, a teal splodge, and a red splodge. That's funny, isn't it? There's just one plain black one in there. Was this made for anything in particular? This looks like a Delphine cat or a dog or lion or something, doesn't it? Anyway, £15.99. pence. they are already pre-cuts. they are already pre-cuts. They're fat quarters. <coughs> Excuse me. I've just... You see, I've, I should learn. I kind of eat an oaty biscuit, gluten-free oaty biscuit in the break, and it just tickles my throat a bit. I've had no coffee this morning, though. At uh, 
15 hang on one two three four five six seven eight less than two pounds of fat quarter there you go just under 199 rose and apple quilting weight I didn't think those were rose and apple were they are they oh beautiful they're lovely aren't they gorgeous colors anyway 15.99 oh moving on moving on monochrome next i'm being told oh the aircon's just kicking in oh thank goodness for that well no i put it on when i arrived at eight o'clock at eight o'clock no i didn't <laughs> at six o'clock so oh, I, i'm all this and that today aren't i i'm all dithery doddery right so you've got the lemon in the splodge you've got ple oh is it cream that's definitely lemon uh, black plain silver gray plain white plain gray plain gray plain taupe splodge and gray splodge 15.99 again for eight fat quarters 199 each that's definitely lemon there you go a warm cream lemon yeah a cream that's got a lemon mixer beautiful keep going through finally a blue one. Oh, of the blue ones there's only six of these left you want this blue one Blue is the world's favourite colour unless you buy in a car. Both men and women. Yeah, Kat's got a blue uh, rental car at the moment because of her... It has got a great big label down the side saying courtesy car, so everybody knows. Ooh, these are nice. There you go. 15.99. Eight fat quarters, all in the blues. Um, now that picture's not quite right, is it? Because the bottom one's got a grey one on there, but I've not got a grey one. Yeah, the web image. So just so you know, they're all blues. If you're looking on the web, there's no grey in there. They're all, well, you can see from here, they're all blues. Morning, John. My favourite shirt today. I was stroking the fab fabrics in my Tula kit last night. Can't bear to cut them. Have a lovely day from Emma in Derbyshire. Oh, Emma, go on. Do it. I was a bit like that when I was making my Ukrainian heart, though. There were a couple of Liberty ones. I kept thinking, I really should cut into these now. No, I'll wait. I'll wait. This will be good if you're going to do the lip if you're going to do the Ukrainian heart patchwork that I did. This would be perfect for all your blues. Oh, I don't know if I'd use those for bunting for Jubilee. Now, uh, oh, I, I missed a meeting. I didn't know it was happening. Not here. The pop-in shop marketing meeting had a meeting, right? Apparently, I said my apologies. I don't even remember them telling me, but I think they just do it and don't even tell me. But they were talking about the, how we're having bunting on the shop and we're having, like, um, cake. Well, I don't know. Nobody's mentioned it since, so I'm just staying quiet. Delphine. Oh, it's gone. Where's it gone? There. Who took that push? Did Stuart do that? This, but I'm selling this one. You tell him. Thank you. Here we go. What day did Delphine do this? It was the first day here. Thursday. Last Thursday. Week ago. The tenth, right? Apparently, right. So what you? What we get? Right. Okay. On the day, just one. Okay. Here we go. So what you get is you get the panel, which has the front there on it, right? Now you're thinking, oh, that looks very different, John. Well, that's because she then used this as the back, or did she? No, she didn't use it on the back on this one. She used these, cut them out. And then these are all daisies that she cut out, and then she appliqued them onto here to create the look that she's done here. So this is all the panel here, and that one there is a panel from the panel. And then these, uh, now hang on, the little ones are all from the other piece of fabric. 
stuck on and she's drawn on um, stalks and things and everything like that not drawn on embroidered on uh, she also had a little cushion made out of this fabric here so she used some of the daisies and cut them out and put them on there and she used the rest to make a little cushion didn't she sweet little cushion it was here it is but there you go so that one there she just used that fabric she just used the green bit of that fabric and then she used daisies from the top there to applique onto this one here <coughs> excuse me 14.99 this panel this is totally and utterly exclusive to sewing street I mean, if you didn't want to make the little cushion, you could use that as your back, but then you wouldn't be able to cut any little ones out to put on there. You'd only have the big ones to cut on there. She did French knots as well. You could do a tote bag. You don't need to do a cushion. It doesn't have to be a cushion. See, there we go. Look, for, mo for Mothering Sunday. Can't you? Oh, all the shops in the card have got Mother's Day written on, but it's really Mothering Sunday, isn't it? Because every day is Mother's Day, isn't it, really? Lo says, good morning, John. Beautiful sunny day. Oh, we haven't got windows here. We don't know. Dithery maybe, doddery never. Well, did I say I was doddery? I feel doddery today. <clears throat> and she had big stitches. Do go and have a look at her demo on last Thursday, 10th, on the 10th of March. Right now, the threads that Delphine used, I've got those as a bundle here as well. We are limited on them though. Let's just get those out. Now, they're all in a bag here just because I didn't want them all to go everywhere. I know Hayley hates it when we just have the bags out, but look. So there's the green, the yellow, the chartreuse, the, the pearl. I don't know what colour I'd call that one there. Like an apricotty colour. Let me take the cushion out of the way. There you go. So you get five embroidery skeins for £6.45. That makes them one pound and nine pence each or something, doesn't it? No, that's not right. No, no, John, rubbish. You're talking rubbish. Five into six goes one pound. It's where I can't work it out. My brain's not working today. Maybe. Maybe. I tested last night, it was negative last night. But I will test again when I get home tonight. But my brain is a bit addled today, isn't it? <coughs> Sue says we're in for a lovely few sunny days. Well, they said that yesterday. Rachel says her air got my door stop. Be nice, thank you. Amanda Little next. Which one? Yeah, I've only got one of those, have I? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's over there, it's over there, it's over there. Which one do you want to do first? Tula Pink first. So now this was done on 1st of March, this was done. You get two metres of the white. Oh, yeah, show the finished thing. Well, <laughs> you can actually make it bigger than that. You can actually make it bigger than that. And obviously they're not the Tula Pink colours you've got there. So what you need, it's very easy to make this. Whole quilt kit there for sixty-seven ninety-nine. You will only use, I think she said it was half of, if you make that, you'll only use half of that. So you can carry on, buy a bit, buy a bit more white and you can carry on as much as you want. Such a lovely quilt, it's very popular on the day as well. So obviously the pattern and the bundle exclusive to Sewing Street, sixty-seven ninety-nine. That one's oscillating lines now we've also got it in the prim is it called primrose primrose hill which is your two meters of your white your instructions and your fat uh, not since fat quarter bundles it's a design roll from riley blake beautiful colors in there as well look now you actually see amanda using this on the day or was it the one on the wall that was in that can't remember now but you'll see both you'll see both colorways if you go to YouTube first of March one of the birthday bonanza days 
<coughs> we can what? Instructions on their own. People are asking. We asked the management. Oh, they've been on pre-order. We've got fewer than 20 now. And we've had to restock that. We've definitely had to restock that one. Questions? <coughs> Good morning, John. Love the doorstop. Please could you tell me if Sang Street's still got the bakery doorstop? LN, no, we don't, I'm afraid. We don't. But we can put it on the list to ask them to redo it. Uh, John, please could you tell me what's the difference between the two Emporium doorstop panels are? There's no difference. There's no difference whatsoever. So the John Scott Emporium panels, they're both exactly the same. One comes with instructions, one doesn't come with instructions. So we did that because so many people have already bought the shop instructions before. And it's the same if you bought the bakery or in the shops. Also, lots and lots of people bought the John Scott one when it was on on the birthday show. And they asked that they wanted to make another one, didn't want the instructions again. So we did the panel. So the panels are both identical. One comes with instructions, the 14 99 one, but the 9 99 one just comes with uh, the panel itself. Okay. Oh, another message. Uh, thanks, Delphine. Just solved my mothering Sunday present dilemma. Two sets of daisy cushions cover board. Thanks for keeping a smiling John from Jackie. Oh, Jackie, you're very kind. I was going to say Delphine's not in. Um, right, so the other um, concentric squares. <laughs> now, this one, you need a couple of extra fa of, um, strips to make this quilt. You need to just get a couple of strips. They only have to be 22 centimetres long. Start with Tula. I love this one. I thought this one was gorgeous. Right, so you get your one and a half metres of white in this one. You get your jelly roll, a design roll, which you will use all of it, and you'll need a couple of strips of 22 and a half. Come on, it was centimetres or inches. It'll be inches when it was a quilt. Plus your instructions. 64.99 beautiful then I've also got it in the Primrose Hill just to try, it depends which colourway you want because Primrose Hill is a much much more subtle colourway isn't it than the Tula I personally prefer the Tula that's my own personal but you see both being used on the day 64.99 Gorgeous. Instructions on their own. Very popular. Amanda Little's patterns are all, she's such a talented lady. Always very, very popular. Beautiful. Oh, we have another set of instructions on their own. Which, oh yes, her bag. Now I thought this had sold out. We bought more in. This you mean? This sold out on the day. This sold out on the day. Oh, was it not available on the day? Oh. So the bundles must have sold out. Gina, did you say? Uh, hi, John. Can they reorder the three shop, store stop bundle, please? Got John Scott Pound. What were, what were in the three, what was in the three bundle? What was in the three? Uh, Jean, or Kim, Kim or Jean, whichever one you are. Um, what were in the three, what were the three in the bundle? Because we've done about eight or nine of them now. We, some of them we cannot redo. We're not allowed to redo the church, not, not allowed. We can't redo the church one, apparently. Um, but the others, I think they're all, are all available to. There was habit we haven't got them here, Ian's got them. I think he might have taken them home. Haberdashery, bakery, um, flower, was there a flower shop? Anyway, let us know, needlework. Oh no, no, that was haberdashery. Anyway, let us know. Uh, this, this has never been on its own before, apparently. I don't understand your message though. It'll be beautiful when you finish today. JS responsible for keeping doors open all over the country. I don't know what, well, yeah, but what, what, what doors do I, oh, the door stop. I've got it now, got it now. Couldn't think of something. Couldn't. At 9.99, right, okay. Right, what were you gonna say to me? Okay, in the next hour, we've got Stuart's fabric. We've got this one here, which is called 
Indigo Elements selling out. It's selling out. We've got Kyoto coming up in the next hour as well, which is also Stuart's design, selling out. Please go to the, uh, go underneath, look at um, pre-order and have a look because there's so many selling out already. It's lovely, isn't it? Look, uh, Kat did this yesterday. Cat did, Cat did this. And uh, she sent me a message going, and I said, I'll change it when I come in the morning. And she went, oh, I like that. So I've left it. Anyway, it'd be interesting. So which table's going to, who's going to be on which table? Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Have I got the real things here? Oh, they brought one of these with them. It's upstairs in the office, right? So I've got, which colour am I doing first? Yellow first, right? So if you've got lots and lots of badges and you don't know what to do, with, it's funny, I sorted my, um, I've had such a good clear out this last three days, right? And um, I found a tin with loads of badges in. I've got loads of badges. Because remember when Joe Carter used to do a toy, she used to have a badge with each of her toys. I've got all of those. I've got all the sewing quarter ones. I've got all the sewing street ones. I've got my ones. Anyway, look. So this panel here has the instructions. Have we got a picture of the finished thing so we can see what we're making? No. Nothing. Charlie? Whereabouts in the office is it? Do you know where their table is, Becky? <laughs> She's looking at me now. Do you know in the big office upstairs? Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. 698, I'll get it down for next. No, 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 don't go, don't go. I'll get it down for next time. 698, so what you make is, Rebecca redesigned it, right? And you sew these together, put a bit of wadding in, you put your dowel across the top, and then you put, pin your badges in here. Instructions are here. My pin badges, sewing street, I made this. Labels here, £6.98. So it comes in the yellow and the grey, right? But it also comes in... Oh, they called it teal. Teal and teal. And grey. There you go. There's the teal one. Instructions are on the panel. Uh... Beautiful. Bernadette, thanks for your message. Oh, probably the last time we'll see these. So, man, not the, well, that, that doesn't have to be for the birthday, though, does it? Oh, flying out. Oh, you get your doweling as well. Now, is it called doweling or dowel? They've called it a dowel. I call it doweling. Maybe you call, cut, cut a dowel from doweling. I don't know. Because I know there were longer ones in the office for another project, aren't there? Have we done that yet? Oh, it was a Polly Wally Doodle, that's right. We were interested how they were going to get them through your letterbox. No, didn't these come from us? The panel, the kits came from us. It was to make a bed and a tent, wasn't it, and things. Right, yo. Reading cushions. Have we? What, in the box? In the box, Becky, these are in the box. Reading cushions. Right, now, there's one of these that I don't agree with. Hang on, let's have a look. I've got this one first, which is the purple one. It's a cushion with those on. Uh, just one more chapter. Love this one. Just one more chapter. One more day, one more chapter, one day more. That, well, pfft, that was half decent. Thank you. So here we go. It's the purple one. There's the purple one. Look. Oh, you can put it on the overhead now. There's a pocket there, look. Just one more chapter. It's cute, isn't it? Who made these? Oh, Jules Move made these. I also missed Barbara McClay this week, didn't I, as well? She looked very different, apparently. Mm. Right, just one more chapter. That's lovely, isn't it? Oh, look, this is what... Use a bit of your own fabric to line it with. Don't waste your panel doing that. It's here, look, pocket lining. I'd save that for something else. 
Can you see that there? I'd save that one for something else because it's inside the pocket, look. It's lovely, isn't it? So 1499, the instructions are already on the panel. So you don't need to worry about getting anything. Beautiful. Now, which one have I got now? Blue. <clears throat> oh, see, Charlie did it like a gentle shush. Oh, that was cat. Instruct, what's the matter? There you go. Shush, I'm reading. Can you read that there? There you go. Shush, I'm reading in the blue. Now, if you don't like that, you could make the pocket out of that if you wanted to. Could you? 14.99. In there. Cat, would what would you embroider there then? And how are your embroidery skills? Cat, the best reader ever. I am um, my um, in my street. There's a girl called Molly who's doing her O levels or the equivalent of O levels, and she's doing textiles. So part of it, she has to make something. So she's I'm her client, and she, so she brought everything around yesterday, and she's done all these lo lovely uh, reverse applique on it. It's a big bean bag with a reading book and pockets and things like that. And then she's, I was reading to it. She, uh, it said um, the client is an artistic man who lives alone, and he's age fifty. And I went, Molly, I'm not 50. I'm... And she went, oh, you don't look it. She's only 16, God love her. Anyway, she's done a brilliant job. Well, she hasn't made it yet. She only made the lining so far. Anyway, shush, I'm reading that one, the blue one. Now, the yellow one has been the most popular. There's only six, six, uh, yellow. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, 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 I couldn't see any yellow, that was all. Green, I'd call this one. Mustard. Well, they've called it mustard. There we go. Oh, no, this is the one I didn't like. There's only six left. It says, please go away. Oh, I don't know what I wanted yesterday. I, um, I, when I woke up yesterday morning, it was really, really early, so I went down and let the cats out, and they literally pinned, they, one lies across here and one lies across here, and, and I'm like, boys, I need to go, I need to get up, I need to get to the toilet. <laughs> they're gorgeous, they're so lovely, but they really thought they were going to have a cat flap by now, and oh, I had a row with the cat flap man yesterday as well. No. no. It's just while I wasn't in work yesterday. You done what, cat? Mm. These days, I go to bed, I fall asleep, and then I wake up and think, oh, it must be time to get up now. I'm so refreshed. It's one hour after, so last night, it was quarter to ten. <laughs> I was, like, ready to get up, and I was like, oh, it's only quarter to ten. Sewing street pattern weights. Oh. Yeah, go on then. We're not paying $17.99. Um, I can't. I can't get it open. Sorry, I'm being rubbish. Right. If you checked out, you will pay the final low price. Here they are. Look, six weights for $13.99. What's sewing on? Mannequins, button, life's a stitch. Oh, that's Molly's designed her own buttons as well. And what you do is you put it into a printer and it makes them real ones. Uh, thread and pin and tonic. But then look underneath. Oh. Look, they've got Sewing Street on the other side. Yeah. Gorgeous. Oh, no. Claire says, Mulder from last week's just arrived. I didn't get a golden ticket. I was going to ask that. Have we had any golden tickets? We've had what? One. Only one golden ticket has been... Um, so that was if you bought on the first day of being here, which is last Thursday... A week ago um, there were five was it five or six five golden tickets put into your parcel right one has been claimed already Claire didn't get one did you have a look make sure you have a good old rummage in the packet because they all went out on that first day 
It was funny because last time we did it, only f there were seven, I think, and only five got claimed. I know. Oh, here you go. Dowels are the short purple spit, purposeful bits cut from longer lengths of doweling. I knew we could rely on Jan. There you go. So they are. It's doweling cut into dowels. Who knew? Who knew? Right. Okay. Keep going through for those. Exclusive to Sag Street. Right now, where are they? Those. Is there a cow creamer on it? Yeah, there we go. So there's no instructions then, just the panel. Oh, I see, it's not the creamer. It's not the creamer. Sorry, I took it back. I take that back. I thought it was going to be the um, oven gloves and all that. No, no. So it's literally, you get your um, c cow on grey, uh, which is an overall fabric. That's that bit there. Then you get your squares here, which look like eight-inch squares. I'll measure them now for you god you have a couple of days off and everything gets moved oh no it's way off nine and a half nine and a half inch squares they are not eight blimey there's something wrong with me today i think and then you've got your bias gingham and your little flowers all on now they've called it oh it's called Mustard apron set, Daisy, Dorothy, and Penelope. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I was going to ask something then in a big way. What colour is this? Mustard. You see, I don't think that is mustard, right? It's more of a gold than a mustard. Looks a bit different when you see it on the like the web image, doesn't it? Anyway. Say that again. Well, isn't that so you can make little stuffed toys? But they're all going to... Yeah. <laughs> you can have one that way up and one that way up. Because, yeah. So they'll face sideways, but they won't... I don't know what you mean. Now, so Kat says, if you're making a table runner... Both people will have a cow facing them, but they... Oh, okay, I thought you meant like the people sitting on this side will have them facing that one thing, just turn them upside down. But Cat likes the way you get one right one and one left one. Yeah, one, one right and wrong, 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 I can't even say it. Uh, I will take care, don't worry, Sue. None of you seem to have much luck in the new studio. Anna falling in mud, that was before we moved, yeah. Cat in a car, Vicky and Maisie, plus what happened to poor old Kerry. Oh, no. It's just a planet, Sue. Let's not get, de let's not get depressed. Uh, I never win anything, says Claire. Oh, no, I don't either. I win the lottery of life. I can't complain. I cannot complain. Sheila, I sent in a picture. Oh, look, look. I'm on top of the roof. I'm top of the world. It's me and Leonardo, that is. Just Sheila. Oh, Sheila, that's gorgeous. I mean, did you stuff me first? Am I stuffed like that? Uh, then the blue Debbie Shaw one. This is like Delft, China, this one, isn't it? Oh, yeah, this is nice. I like this one better. Not that I'm allowed favourites. Gorgeous, like a denim. And a Wedgwood, Delft, and Dark. Beautiful. Make sure you go through. John, would the weights work on knitting when measuring a blanket? <coughs> oh, now, I don't know. Where are they? Where have I put them? I'm not sure that they would. I'm not sure they'd be heavy enough. I think they're only just heavy enough to keep a paper pattern down. We're all winning at life. Mustn't grumble, says Claire. No, we mustn't. I'll stop grumbling now. It's not good. It's not good, is it? It's because I didn't have a coffee and a cake for my breakfast. So I just had my cucumber and my boiled egg. And a bit of lip from the gallery. 
Don't you look at me like that. Becky, I don't even know what your last name is. No, she doesn't want me to know. I'll find out. I'll find out. Right, next. Oh, now this is nice. Now, when's the next one due? <clears throat> Oh, I can't even open it, hang on. <laughs> Bear with me, caller. There we go. 28th of March is the next one. So this was the 28th of February. Right, so what this is, this is a new Amber Makes design. And what it is, is this is your background fabric. These are all your different fabrics here to create this block, right? There you go, there's the block, right? So you can create the block from that, but also if you don't want to create the block, you also have a picture of the finished block anyway. Um, and then you also get a zip case front and a zip case back here. There's so much on this. Look, it's all $14.99. You get full instructions of how to make everything. The idea is over the next 12 months, there will be a different block each month to make a quilt with at the end of the year with all or the, within 12 months with all of the sewing things but then if you're going to use that to make the quilt with um, they put in another pattern so she did how to make a sewing machine cover um, using this one or you could use that or you could use that one if you're not going to make a quilt with it but the instructions are in there how to make a sewing there's the block and the instructions of how to make a sewing machine cover to fit your machine You're going to learn something new every month. This, this, what was this month then? Piecing? There must have been something else. Well, so she did flip and stitch, didn't she? Or whatever that, snowballing, whatever that's called, yeah. Anyway, £14.99. Message from Welsh Mary. Uh, good morning, lovely man. It's always lovely when you're on. Just costs me so much money. I love the doorstop. Great design. Welsh Mary, niece riding of Yorkshire. Thank you very much indeed. I designed it, you know. Apparently, I forgot to say that. Sheila. Sorry, John. Was just trying to be quick with the picture. Only you didn't like standing... Oh, only you didn't like standing on the rooftop. Oh, I don't like... Oh, do I, do I wobble like that? Like a weeble. Weebles wobble, but we don't fall down. Don't know what that is. Are you enjoying that flapjack there? She's got a mouthful of flapjack the other side of the camera. At least you're not like cat. Cat brings a whole breakfast in. Not this cat. Not this cat. Cat goes through here. Next. Flower of the month. Well, I did this last week with Catherine White. So, what it is, is this is, um, uh, this is the pink version. Uh, we had a grey version as well. We haven't got that today. So you can use, you don't have to use it for this, but you can use, it's called Charming Shadows. It's really easy to do. What day did we do this last week? 11th we did this. So you need white for your background. You need pink for your, like, shadow block goes behind there. But you can have loads of these left over, because look, one, two, you only use 12 pictures. I think there's 40 pictures on here. Uh, what she used is she used the coloured squares for a scrappy background, but you've still got more than 12 flowers on here, so you can pick and choose which flowers you want to use, maybe make coasters out of the other ones. Oh, there's only seven left. Only seven of these left. Gorgeous. Right, I've got one more thing to show you. Two more things to show you. And then I'll do the fabric. Right, I've got Summer Breeze Quilt by Kerry Living. Oh, Kerry Living in Loveness. She's there. She's at Sewing for Pleasure. Who's trying to whisper in there? No. Nine ninety nine. <coughs> Summer Breeze Quilt. It's very pretty, very simple, I'd imagine. Don't want to do what? You can't play snake because they don't join up. Oh, it's not like snakes and ladders then. Never heard of that. Anyway, nine ninety nine. Oh, Marion says, John, it's lovely to see you. Got my plaster off now. Got a brace on. Oh, good. 
Weebles Wobble was a toy from my childhood, late 70s. Oh, well, I was a teenager, late 70s. I was in my late teens then, so I wouldn't have known that. But it must have been my, brother, my little brother and sister must have had them then. Uh, question from Lynn. Morning, please can you show the concentric squares quilt kits again? Thanks, Lynn. Of course I can, Lynn. Of course I can. Let me just go and get them. Concentric squares. Concentric squares. Here we go. Here I am. What's the matter? Oh, did you do, did you do a shot of that table? Oh, sorry. It's because they're not, she's too busy eating her flapjack to be tidying as we're going along. Don't you glare at me. Right, which one would you like to see? Tula. So you get the instructions. You get one and a half meters of your white for your background and you get the whole Tula. Now you will need a couple of more strips than that to make the whole one. Oh, Marion, I've got carpal tunnel trouble. Oh, no more weeks without sewing, she says. $64.99. Beautiful. And then we've also got it in the Primrose Hill. One and a half meters of your white. Your design roll. And your instructions, $64.99. Beautiful. Instructions on their own, if you wanted the instructions on their own. We're very limited now on those, very, very limited. Oh, back there again, 9.99. Gorgeous, 9.99. Hope that helps you, Lynn. Right, let's put that there. Now, oh no, I've got one more thing. Got one more thing, sorry, before I do the fabric. Debbie Shaw cork tassel bag. Hmm? Also on for the, this was the Sunday, remember the Sunday. Just the pattern, no fabric. Oh, now that's a funny picture, that one. There be sure, cork tassel bag. Very, very popular. Oh, there's a, oh, it's what you need. There's a pattern amendment in there as well. Make sure you get the pattern amendment when you open it. Nine ninety nine. Oh no! What are we going to do for twenty minutes then? Why can't I do it by the half meter? Oh no! Have a look. Well, look, have a look. The bundle all might sell out. This is a bundle of fabric. Well, this is a fabric range that Rebecca launched on Monday. I was sitting at home watching and I absolutely loved it. It's so gorgeous. Now, 112.35 means that you can get it on split pay. There you go. 56 pounds and 17 pence. You are getting half a meter for free, remember? Aren't they? The colours are just exquisite. The patterns are out of this world. Look. Oh, love the dandelion. The what, sorry? Oh, a lot of them aren't available by the half metre now anyway, because that's such a busy day. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that's beautiful. I didn't stay and watch the whole show, you said. I didn't see all of these. They're be oh my word, no wonder they were so popular. They had such a stonky morning that morning because this was so popular. Oh, you're very good to me, Kat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Is that right? Yeah, 8 metres. 8 metres. There you go. There's your bundle. Not all of them are available by the half metre. This way, if you buy them like this... You get half metre of each, they're already cut, so if you multi-buy, you'll still get two half metres of everything. Right, let's see what we've got by the metre. There won't be many. This is going to be fun now. Okay. Shall I, shall I do like we did the other day? Okay, that's right, so I'm going to go XMU191. Right, okay, I've got this one. I think this would make the most fantastic dress really 
really, really beautiful dress. Because to start with, you can't actually see what it is, can you? That is, what? They're moths. Yeah, they're moths. Now, Rachel Hoa, I don't know how to say her last name. Hoa, Hoa. She is um, the, the um, tattoo artist of Tula Pink. And remember, we had a cat's range. We had a Curiosity Cats, whatever it was called. Now, this is the next range of furs that we got. It was so popular. It's called Moths to the Flame, that one. Let me hold it up, because it's stunning. Look, 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 look. Whether you use it, look at a dress made that, that. Nobody's gonna know, are they? Just think you've got a gold and black dress, and then come close, and you see it's all those moths to the flame. Now, now you see you're buying, buying it by the half meter, not like in the bundle, you could only have half meter, you're buying it by the half meter. Uh, uh, XRUI94, No, that one's not available. Rebecca Reed loved that mushroom one. Right, now I've got a KNUI51. This is lovely. This is Blossoms, and then the most... We couldn't decide, they couldn't decide whether that was a moth or a butterfly on there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Put it in shot, though. Beautiful, isn't it? So you've got rich roses in there, soft pinks, so and you've got your blues and your aquas. And then the background is like a charcoal-y taupe colour look. What have they called it? Uh, Forest Roy Luna Grey. Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. Oh, stunning. By the half metre, £7.49. 100% cotton, machine, washable, quilting weight fabric. Yeah, again, you could use it for so many different things. A shirt, a dress, or quilting. Or quilting, of course. Okay. Right, next one is SYU124. These are acorns. These are all very, very, very limited. Very limited, right? So this is acorns on red, they've called it. Now, I would call it terracotta, I think. I wouldn't call it red. I'd definitely call that terracotta. Beautiful. Then I've got WSU181. This one seems a little bit random. It's just a plaid, a red and yellow plaid, this one. No, it's lovely, it's lovely. But you know, you are, you're going through all the woodland and everything and then suddenly it's plaid. Seven forty-nine. Oh, Susan, I don't know what that means. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, Stuart sent me, our Stuart sent me a message this week and it didn't make any sense at all. I went, um, are you drunk or something? He went, I sent the message in Welsh. Of course, it made sense then, didn't it? The words were all over the place. Right. Oh, do you want to do the other plaid, yeah, in the blue? LTU171. This is lovely. The colourway of this one is gorgeous. There you go. Remember, you're buying it by the half metre. It's a fat quarter. You're buying it by the half metre now. Yeah, if you want the half metre rule, then get the, ba the bundle because you get a half metre for free that way. Lovely. And then I've got, well, let's see if I've got any repeats of those. So I've got acorns, multicoloured acorns, YUU184. This is lovely on a beautiful teal. There's only seven metres of this one left now. Only launched on Monday. Beautiful. This is called Bits and Bugs, this one. You'd kind of trust her to do a tattoo, wouldn't you? Because they're drawing so lovely. Gorgeous. Lots of noise in the corridor, isn't there? No, I went to have a tattoo and there was a very butch builder type boy in the chair and he was crying, so I had a piercing instead. <laughs> right, okay, so now let's do... Oh, now I've not got any repeats now. Oh, there's only six left. So, well, let me just read them out then. Uh, UVU192. Oh, now I am surprised. I thought this one would have sold out. I love this one. Look, so this one's called Small Dandelions. 
That means there must be a big dandelions coming up in a minute. There's small dandelions on, on yellow. The detail is exquisite, look. It, it's looking upside down to you that way around. If we're going to shoot it from that camera, there you go. Isn't that just glorious? So that's small dandelions. Have we got MQU154? No, the big dandelions has gone then. So then I've got a GXUI39. No. Then I've got POU153. See, so many of these sold out. This is lovely. Dandelions again. I can hear music. What is it? Seven forty nine. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful. You got the dandelion heads and all the lovely. What time? What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Do you remember that? It's called Dandelion Wishes. This one. Hmm. Then we've got uh, RJU108. Oh, that means there's very few that's left on the table, isn't there? This is your, um, what do you call these? Uh, helicopters, sycamore helicopters, aren't they? I tell you what, one day I've been off this week at five o'clock, I was woken up by bird song, and I'm thinking, oh, how lovely. I'm so lucky to live in the countryside with all this lovely bird song just waking me up. By half past six, I was like, all right, enough already. They were still twerping away. No, they don't twerp. What do they do? Tweeting away in the garden. I, I just waited. Yeah, you've only got seagulls and blackbirds outside your house. Um, I can't wait for the ghost of Luther to be in the garden. I think I'll lose all birdsong then. Having two panthers in the garden, prowling. Rightio. And then I've got uh, HVU187. There you go, this is ants, ants in your pants. It's, it's called Dancing Ants, this one. Look, I'll put... Oh, beautiful. No, I can hear that perfectly. Maybe you're too close to your microphone. That makes it dis makes it distorted. Uh, right, okay. Uh, HVU one seven one. Oh, that's it then. I think these have all gone. Uh, YIU one six three. I've got this one. Raccoons. Oh, uh, what big dandelions? Oh, big mushrooms. Okay. Okay, doesn't matter. I'll, I'll go here. Uh, so this is gorgeous. This is raccoons. This is called Forest Floor, the Burglar on Red. That's a great look at that one. That's Doris. That's that one there's like Doris. Apparently she's lost some weight. Now it says it's on red. It's definitely now that's a different red to the first one. Oh, I remember Record B talking about these, right? So look, they're both called red, but they're slightly different tones of red, look. Oh, but terracotta anyway. Right, very quickly, then I've got MRU173. Yeah, there's, I've got one metre of this one left. One metre, that's it. Of the mushrooms and toadstools. Seven forty-nine. Right, I just want to do a quick recap on my door stop, if that's all right, before we go for a break. And we're a bit worried because this happened last time Stuart was on with this, his fabric. Nearly all of it sold out before he came on air, so it's the same thing's happening today. Let me just uh, have a recap of my door stop. And uh, is that? And how many people in baskets? How many? Okay, right. There are thirty of the bundle left, right? Thinking, fine, that's 30. 54 people have got it in their basket. So 24 of you are going to miss out. Please check out on that. 
please check out. Now, uh, we, 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 well, if we, we, we have to reorder it again, and we won't get any more today. That'll be it now. That'll be it now. So please check out if you've got in your basket, because there's more people wanting it than we've got stock of. Right. In the next hour, Stuart has got Indigo Elements selling out fast. He's also got Kyoto selling out fast. We've got them. Well, I'll explain when we come back. We've got them in all sorts of uh, bundles for you. And wait till you see the price. And the quality is out of this world. I'll see you in four from now. Hi everyone, my name is Jules Mayouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. It's combining two of my favourite things which are sewing and designing. Uh, I live in London at the moment but I'm originally from Staffordshire. Uh, so I think I've got a combination of two really great things. So London's really diverse and um, lots of different cultural impacts and then Staffordshire is very rural so there's a lot of country influence in what I do. My grandma first taught me to sew when I was in my early teens. She was a dressmaker and she was always sewing and taking in orders from different people um, and I think I got my initial love of sewing from her. Um, I started making my clothes uh, because I couldn't find anything that was fashionable so I created my own fashion. A um, bit dubious at times probably. I remember once I um, bought some really lovely, as I thought, heavy brocade material. I created a pencil skirt, thought that was fabulous. It turned out to be curtaining uh, and I got quite a lot of stick from that. But uh, you know, in my defense, I was a new romantic and I, I think I was just fashion forward. Um, I have done a lot of um, teaching and coaching and mentoring uh, in sewing in my career. Um, and I would think that probably the best tip that I can give to people, because um, all age groups have various challenges, but the best tip is to be kind and good to yourself and don't worry about if you make mistakes because you've always got your seam ripper to hand. I'm really looking forward to my shows with Sewing Street and helping you have some hints and tips and knowledge. So I look forward to seeing you soon. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. 
Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sang Street app, or the websites at www.sangstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. My word, it's a morning and a half today, and now I've got a diva of a guest on with me. It's, uh, we've said we couldn't work together again, but we're going to have to. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Stuart Hillard. <laughs> Hello, uh, everybody. <laughs> now, before we do anything, yes. I'm coming over in a minute, don't you worry. I believe congratulations are in order. They are, they are. Let me just... Let me show you. Let me show this you. One. Show yes, this one OK. Yeah. Let me just... We've had... Let me just... Can you see? Oh, hang on. Oh, stopped. Just a minute. We've had a new arrival. Look. And when Little did he arrive? baby girl. Oh, baby Little girl, baby when did she arrive? This morning. Oh, actually this morning. Yeah, just this morning. Charlie's just sent me um, a little video. And uh, yeah, it's a little girl. They're Balwyn Welsh Mountain sheep. <gasps> They're really rare, they're really unusual. Oh, it's unusual. a sheep, I thought it was a goat. Sheep. No, we've got sheep as well. Oh, and wow. And that's our first lamb born on the farm. Oh. So we're very excited, very excited. Because you've, you've had, you've been having, not you've been having babies, but yes. there have been babies being born all the last week, have there? We have, well, we've had three goat kids born so far. We've got more due. But um, but the the lambs have resolutely refused to show their faces, and um, Charlie said to me this morning, um, oh, "I don't think there's going to be any." And I said, "Oh, I think there's going to be a new arrival." Well, can there. you not tell by looking? Can you not look at a sheep and go, "Oh, she's pregnant." Oh yeah, 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 oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. we know just... that we know they're pregnant. Oh, you know, but you, you but see, they haven't, they haven't exactly when. Yeah, because you know, there's maybe a week of we're not quite sure. Oh, of when when they were tupped. Is that what it's called? Well, <laughs> well, it's it's the process. It, the, the, yeah, they're known oh, as okay. tupping. Uh, is there a pub in Twickenham called the Top? Mm. Anyway, um, mm. oh, that's sweet. And do they all have the same dad then? They do. He's called Hercules. Well, he's after bit. And how many <laughs> lady wives has he got then? He's got thirteen lady wifelets. What, wifelets. Thirteen of thirteen, them. Thirteen lady wives. And are all thirteen of them pregnant? Uh, no. Oh, no. I, I not think I'd quite. be a bit upset if I was number 13. There was 13. a little bit of favouritism going on, I think, maybe. But it was so sweet. When um, when Hercules arrived, you know, he spent probably a week just kind of, just being friendly, just being kind of quite cash and getting to know everybody and um, being quite romantic. So oh. we think he's rather lovely, yeah. Oh, I just th <laughs> I, th I think that it's the, the animal world is so fantastic. What was I watching the telly the other day and I was thinking, oh, I know, it wasn't telly. It was in real life. It was a day we had really, really strong winds, and there were these four magpies in a tree yeah. near my house, and they were all sitting together in the tree, ch chattering. And then one of them would fly into the wind, but would be going woo like this, <laughs> and all the others were like yay, look. and then he'd go back to the tree, and another one would come out just the tree. For fun. And you kind of think, what's going through their brain, you know? Because yeah. it's just, I think it's amazing. I yeah. really do. It but is wonderful. Congratulations! Thank so you very your first much. sheep on the farm ever. First little lamb, lamb born, lamb. yeah, <gasps> yeah, conceived and born on the farm. So we'll be trying to think of names. So if you've got any suggestions for a little baby girl Welsh mountain sheep. It should have been an Irish breed, shouldn't it, really, on St. Patrick's Day? We yes. Call it Patricia. Oh, no, can't be called Patricia. It's been Bromwyn or Gwyneth or something like that. Yes. It? I mean, there are lots of l beautiful, beautiful Welsh names, yeah. aren't there? So. Oh, it's so exciting. It is. It's lovely. It's so exciting. And then will there be other... Have you got goats and sheep? We'll get onto the fabric in a minute, I promise. Yeah. But have you got, have, you got, have you got any other animals that we might see babies of coming? No, goats, sheep, chickens. So we don't we eat, we have eggs then we don't have baby <laughs> chicks then. No, well, although although. <laughs> oh no. We um, Anna, who is our original, I hatched her from an egg. She's my original chicken, uh -huh. my lockdown baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, she had gone missing. 
oh. the other day, okay, she'd gone completely missing, we're like doing a head count, do it again, still couldn't find her. And then I found her and she'd wedged herself behind a bale of straw and was sitting on a clutch of eggs oh. that she'd obviously secrete. I don't know why I'm doing this. Well, you know exactly why yeah. I'm doing that. She'd secreted these eggs, laid these eggs, and was resolutely sitting on them. So, bless her, I've left her to it for oh, now. Yes. I don't know if anything's going on at all. I think it's well, highly unlikely. She does have a special friend, John. Um, we don't actually define him as a boyfriend, but he's okay. a special friend. Oh, okay then. Yeah. Oh, I think it's lovely. I think it's so fa fascinating that we have this life here where you're all arty farty and creative yeah, 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 and then you go and put your boots on you're a proper like uh, uh, farmer uh, but, how, that. but how gorgeous though just about to see i mean i mean you know domestic you know kind of domestic cats things like that but it's yeah. just how exciting for you to have it all is, that going and it's on. very emotional i spend half my time smiling and laughing and loving it and the other half crying yeah, <laughs> so i do impressed. quite a lot of that oh. but um yeah no it is wonderful and it's an amazing antidote i was talking about it on my social media yesterday it's an amazing antidote when things are so so frightening in the world of course, and of you course. know things are going on it's that lovely little sort of reminder well, it, yes that life goes on oh, yes, and course, beautiful things course. still happen yeah so yeah it's lovely I oh love it. brilliant right <laughs> now i need to warn you i'll get into a shot here i need to warn you that a lot of these fabrics are selling out before we even get to them so i'm going to be very quick and i'm just going to go through we're going to start off with the indigo elements which you've already done once and they sold out completely didn't they, they in the did, birthday John, week they did. Uh, so i'm going to tell you what we've got available and then we can talk about them and everything like that Oh, all right, so this bundle here, there are only seven left already. These now, slightly different to usual, these are one metre pieces, right? So, but look at the price, right? So you get, I've got to lean in. They're the Indigo Elements Collection, a pre-cut bundle, what, 12 of, you get 12 metres, but you get a whole metre for free. Look at the price of a whole metre. I know. I know. So look at all these gorgeous fabrics. I'll just show them to camera too very quickly. So now uh, these are all in the bundle. There are only three bundles available now. Only three of the bundles are left. I can't tell you. I wish I could do touchy-feely telly because these are gorgeous. Now, remember, if you buy the bundles by the multiple, they are still already cut. They're already cut into the metre pieces here. But I have got lots of these. I've got all of these available by the half metre okay so there's only three or four of these left now by the half meter so i'll show you all this now you'll recognize that one straight away because it's got a shirt <laughs> in that one hasn't it love them love them love them right i'm going to be very quick because i'm going to ask Stuart where his inspiration and everything came from now uh th before i do that that's that's your bundle there that's your bundle of meter pieces right i've also got fat quarter bundles here very quickly this one is tevt73 these are fat quarter bundles obviously you get one two three four five in there indigo elements by stuart hillard 9.99 half the stock of those gone on pre-order already right am i allowed to wait i'm going to open them and john can i just point oh, yes. out as yes, well course, course, course. it's 9.99 there's a meter and a quarter there for nine oh yes, that's what I mean. yes, of course, yeah. Music. yeah, 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 meter and quarter. That's yeah. brilliant, isn't it? So the price is even better yeah. than the meter. Yeah. But look, there you go. There are your five. Oh, hang on, I have to do this, don't I? One, two. Oh, Stuart. Now, are these the ones they'll actually get, or will they get five of any of the no, range? No, no, those are the ones, ones in that get, bundle. Sometimes yeah. it's like because it's a range, you get a kind of. But they're the ones you're going to get. If one ninety-nine a fat quarter, designer fabric beautiful isn't it absolutely stunning so that's that one and i've got one other to show you and then we can talk through it and everything oh i love this one so this bundle you get a fat quarter of this i well this thing is uh, i know we're not allowed favorites this one's more popular on pre-order i like this one the best beautiful got my favorite fabrics in there so there you go they are the five fat quarter bun fat quarter you get in that bundle so if you buy grvt62 that's what you get in there now the bundle the big bundle i presume it's sold out is it okay a couple left a couple left of the big bundle while we put the graphics in for that stuart tell me about the inspiration how it came about how you even how did you get to design your own fabric sure. and oh wow the designing my own fabric it's 
It's funny, really. I mean, after I did Sewing Bee, um, very soon afterwards, within the year, um, Free Spirit had approached me from America oh, wow. and asked me to design fabrics for them. And um, I'm going to be absolutely honest. I felt too intimidated oh, wow. to, um, and also I had got other things that I really wanted to do more right. at the time, mm -hmm. um, but mostly it was because I felt intimidated. And also that's why so many doors opened to you, suddenly there you were, well, like your own, yeah. no, no, because you were doing it for one, but you were exposed to all these people and suddenly all this Oh I got my own shopping hour at the yeah. super, local supermarket, everything, yeah, I didn't really, but <laughs> I still, still like that if anybody's watching. Um, but, you know, no, I just, because I, I'd got to work by then with people like Kay Fassett, and I just thought, oh, I can't do, oh, I can't, oh, no. Me, little me. And it took me a little while mm -hmm. to sort of, you know, but, um, and then, um, a few years later, um, the Craft Cotton Company approached me. Is that who makes, is that who makes exactly these? Exactly yeah. right. And, you know, as soon as I met and talked with Danny, who's the MD, he just absolutely filled me with confidence. He also... I knew straight away that he was somebody who gets things done. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You meet people sometimes, don't you? And you instantly know yes, that they're going, they, they understand your vision and they know exactly what you want to do and they're going to be a joy to work with. So we did my very first fabric range together, which was called the Sewing Bumblebee. Right. And which was kind of a sewing themed fabric, you know, and was very much about sort of celebrating uh, the sewing bee and, and so on. And, um, you know, and that's where it started, really. I've spent many, many decades using other people's fabrics. This was now an opportunity for me, I suppose, in a way to reverse engineer what I'd spent many mm. years doing, which was looking at the fabric and then deciding what I could make with it. And now I have the joy of being able to think, what do I want fabric to be? How do I want it to be? Mm. What do I want to make? And then I go backwards and I make the fabric. Or sometimes, like with indigo elements, it really comes out of serendipity and a bit of fun and a bit of bit of you know messing around mm. really and so that's where indigo more was. messing around than so it was messing yeah. around really it was it was it was during lockdown it was sunny weather being outside ooh what shall I do and I thought I'll do some dyeing so I would bought some um, you know artificial uh, indigo dyes and I had to go doing all sorts of different oh, things wow. so stamping with fabric dribbling hand painting leaf prints um, tie dye oh, wow. so it's, you know scrunching fabric up onto plastic tubes and painting it and pulling it off and seeing what happened and and various different things and um, I had all these different inspirations from that uh -huh. and that's what became indigo elements but I'm also really fascinated by the sort of textile traditions around the world and what I love about indigo is it's been used for thousands of years by cultures from you know I just need to tell you it's sold out the bundle oh, sold out well welcome everybody thank yeah. you right from you know kind of prehistory Britons to uh, you know Africa and Asia and I mean literally everywhere around the world Indian subcontinent they've all in Britain our in type of indigo is called woad is a different plant oh, no. but you yes, have that yes, food yes, dye. Yeah. and it's and if have you ever seen the process of, of dying with indigo I've seen, well I've seen no I've seen woad because a friend of mine does it in Suffolk Amazing. but I haven't seen indigo no and it's like it's ma like magic because the dye stuff itself is it looks like pond water yeah yeah it's yeah. like a sort of yeah. murky greeny brown colour and everything gets swished around in it and it comes out this kind of dirty browny greeny yellow hold it up and literally it turns blue. Does it oxidise? Is that what air? it's doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's that chemical reaction. Yeah. And it's just, I love a bit of sort of natural magic. Magic, yeah. Yeah, yeah totally. Um, so just the whole process, the history, the culture that's, you know, there, I just love. And um, blue's the world's favourite colour. Okay, it is exactly right. Okay, let's do some, <laughs> let's do some messages first of all, because the bundle sold out. The fat quarter bundles, you have one sold out, the darker one sold out. And and nine left of TEV. So there are all I've got left to show you. Can I just see these, Charlie? Okay. That's the only one I've got left there. That's the only one. There's, 
Nine of those left and that's it. Of this range, I've got another range to introduce to you in a minute, but there's only... And then I've only got three of the main fabrics by the half metre. Right, mess you do these. And, uh, while we, you, can you read the messages out, Stuart? And then oh, Kat can tell me will. which this, the um, cat fabrics are. Yeah, to get this out. is from Debbie, who said, Saren is a lovely name and is Welsh for star. Congratulations. I love that, Debbie. That's a really cute name. And I think the lamb did have kind of a little white star on her head, didn't she? Saren, I think that's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, Julie is messaged in. Cariad, Welsh for sweetheart. That is beautiful. I love that, Julie. Cariad. Linda's message too. Body Dar, Stuart and John. I love feeding the orphaned lambs and caring for them in front of the fire. Lamb names Cariad, darling, or Kutch. Oh, Kutch, I love Kutch. that. That's my nickname in Welsh. Oh, is Kutch, it? Kutch, because I, I hug everybody in yeah, the things. Yeah. They call me Kutcher. Oh, it might have to be Kutch. Or if we have a little ram. If we have a little ram, I might call it Kutch, or I might call it John. Yeah, well, I might just call it John. <laughs> Can Jacqueline, you hello, John and Stuart. These indigo element fabrics are just gorgeous in the flesh. I love mine. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. Wait till you. Can I just say, wait till you get these home because I know you're going to think that they're, they're. I have to put this. They're much more affordable. So you would think in your brain, you go, oh, much more. What you get, what you pay for. But these, these are these could be pillowcases they're that lovely soft soft cotton aren't they yeah the fabric this, oh sorry yeah. you do it good this fabric is the most superb quality i wish i'd bought more so today i have melanie in Pembrokeshire. thank you melanie that's really cute uh, a collector in merseyside's message delighted to get the two fat quarter bundles as i missed them last time but did get half meter the quality is fab and the fat quarter prints look amazing thank you so much that's thank kate you. we know well that one's done. kate we found kate. out her name's kate right yes 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 kate joanne morning my lovely boys good morning to you congratulations Stuart on being a lamb daddy. Yeah, I'm going to get that on a t-shirt. Yo, the lamb daddy. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to Long Melford Saturday. Does Stuart have a shop and will he be there? Right, it's a different Stuart. It's a, can I explain? That's a, not this Stuart. It's Stuart. You know Stuart, he used to be on the John Scott show. He's got a wool shop and a fabric shop in Long ah. Melford and he's the one who dyes the woad. It's called Lavenham Blue and he dyes his own woad in his mum's garden actually. And um, if you, uh, it's called the Wool Patch. The shop is called the Wool Patch. If you go to his um, Facebook page or his YouTube or anything like that, it's got films of him dyeing it and everything like that. So he's in Long Melford. Okay, a few more oh, messages. Hi, all lovely. Ilya, Hercules' only daughter. Oh, now that's a great. Oh, that's a yes. great Ilya. I love that. Got my panel kit and fat quarter bundle. Caroline, thank oh, you. Oh, that's lovely idea. That is isn't a lovely, it? lovely. Another one. Dillis's mess, uh, message too. Saren would be a good name for Stuart's baby lamb. It means star. Oh, yeah, we Dillis, that one oh, already, I think yeah. Saren might have it, to, you know. That's lovely. Although that I should really let name. Charlie name the lamb, shouldn't I? Morning, John and Stuart. Would Stuart's fabric be okay to make a pinafore dress? Mandy, it's, well, I, I would say yes. I, mean, I it's would Obviously, agree. it's a quilt weight cotton. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I use it all the time for things like shirts. It's heavier than a shirting, though, yes, yes, or yes, a poplin. Yes. Definitely, it's you quilt weight cotton. But yeah, I and with a lining, with a lining. There's only two available now by the half meter. Obviously, I've got a meter here. So if this by the half meter. There's only three and a half meters. This one left way. Show there you go. Three and a half meters. Then I'll show it to camera two. There you go. So look at the price per half meter. Four ninety nine for half a meter. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And John, I used that one for the top of this bag. Simple tote bag, but with the addition of some leather handles, it just makes it something a bit different, doesn't it? Hi, John and Stuart, on this beautiful sunny morning. I got the 12 meter bundle. I'm so excited, missed it the last time. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Simone. Happy Simone, St. Patrick's same Day. to you, my lovely. Right, last one of these, last one of these. This is lovely, this one. Oh, you do the message, I'll hold this Andrea's up. Andrea's message, she's in the Highlands. I bought Indigo Elements Collection tie-dye fat quarters on launch day, and they're amazing. Can't wait to make something, don't know what yet. Oh, thanks, Andrea. Look forward to seeing what you make. Absolutely. Oh, here's me unfolding. There's only half a metre of this one left. Only half a metre left if you want that one. 
Right, so many messages. Sorry if we have, don't get them all. They're slipping off the bottom of the screen again, as usual, as per usual. Right, so let's put that one away because we've also got. So we had this one during the birthday week, didn't we? And that sold out. That's right. During the week. Right. To say it again. Oh, yeah, now before we go any further, this is not Stuart's fabric. This is a complimentary bundle that we've put together to go with it if you just wanted some planes. Go These are Rose and Hubble core fabrics. You get half meat, half meat, half meat, half meat, white, navy, and that's a sky and silver or something like that. But then you get four half meters there. And they are all available by the half meter on pre order if you want to go to pre order. Right, now, this range here, we haven't seen here before, have we? No, we have not. So this is all new to Sewing Street. Yes. Right, now, I need to explain. No, let's talk about <coughs> the concept behind it first. Yes. I'm going to open this so we can, while you talk, I can um, chuck. Sure. Oh, no, there's only three of these bundles left. Oh, gosh. Okay. So this is about, I'll right, quickly. Okay. <laughs> you tell us, you tell us about the fabric. I'll just show them to the sure. camera while we do this. Well, this is a range that I designed with Craft Cotton Company called Kyoto, and I just absolutely love uh, Japanese style fabrics and Japanese culture. And this one, I wanted to do a range that reflected uh, sort of na natural beauty and also again the elements, uh, they seem to influence me an awful lot, it's nature I guess birds so in the air um, bamboo in the earth uh, water lilies and koi um, and I'm just going to make something up about the fire the yes. fire in your belly <laughs> but what's this what's this breakfast so rice bowls I wanted to do two fabrics I always do fabrics that pull the whole collection together so I did the rice bowls fabric one on navy and one on an orange background which would be really fun to do things like use for bag making, use for cushions. But use they're for all your fabric orders. designs they on the bowls. In the look. bowls, in the bowls. So you could fussy cut them, you could bond you web could on the them. back. You could fussy cut oh, them. Fussy. You know, if you put some bond web on the back, cut yeah. out the individual cups, stack them up and do appliques, it'd be all sorts of fun. You well, could you could, do. but there's only one bundle left. There is. There's there only is. one bundle left of can that. Can I just show so, you this quilt quickly? Yeah, of course as you well. can. I'll just tell you the bundle, you get 12 one meter pieces in there. 12 one meter pieces. I'll just show you a little bit of this quilt. So this is really primarily using a uh, strip roll, two and a half inch strip roll um, for the majority of the blocks. And, um, oh, there we go. <laughs> Can you manage? Do you want me to hold the other end for you? No, you're all right, don't worry, don't worry. And then um, use some of the rice bowls uh, to create the centre of each block. Well, it's not really the centre because it's kind of offset, but it's essentially a quarter log cabin block. I'll talk you through how to make it in a bit. Do you want, uh, the bundle oh. sold out, bundle sold out. Okay. We have nothing by the half metre. What I do have is I have a design roll, I have fat quarter bundle, a fat quarter bundle, and then these are bundles of half metres, aren't they? Yes, you get, you get five half metres. Okay, what should we do first, Kat? Because we've got the two and a half inch strips, should we do that Should we do next? that? Yeah. Am I allowed to open this? Oh no, because they're going to sell it. out. Hang on. Oh, no, I no. won't open it. I won't open it because you can see all well, the you can see Actually, you do that and then you can show. I don't sure. know. I don't know why I'm throwing it because we're allowed to stand next to each other now, look. aren't we? Right, go on then. Come so on, Kutch. Oh, hey. yeah, Kutch. There we go. There you go. I've been waiting all morning for that. Oi. <laughs> so, so, yeah, what I've done is um, two and a half inch strips, so straight off the strip roll for the main ones. And you need, well, I've used three different ones per block. Okay. Um, so what do you call, if I hold this up, what are you calling a block? Yeah, well, can we do overhead? Because I thought that showed, there we go, there perfect. Go, there go. perfect. Right, yeah, so, so this is a block right here. So this, this is the block right, right here. Lovely. Right. And then you've got, you can see you've got three different. Oh, I've got it now. Right, yeah. I understand it now. So that's your, and here's that's the your heart, that, or whatever, do you call it half or the heart in the middle? Yeah, of, exactly right. Got it. So that is a six and a half inch square cut originally let me just move it very slightly Is that yeah. right? right so um that's a six and a half inch square and then we've got one and a half inch strips of i've used solid white mm -hmm. you could use solid navy that would look really nice mm. if you wanted to kind of darken it all down and make it a bit more moody but the white just kind of lightens and brightens everything and then you're just adding one side and then the other side and then add some white one side then the other side and some white 
And then, now, the thing with my strip rolls is they're bigger. I was going to say the Swartest Forty Eight. Yes. Yes, because what? Well, because there's twelve different designs in the range, and I wanted there to be the same number of each strip. Right. So I said, can we have 48 instead? And then you get four of each of 12. And Danny said, yeah, no problem. And But we kept the price the same, and um, that's what you get. But not only is it the <laughs> same, you try getting a quality designer jelly roll design roll for 34.99 oh absolutely oh, there's only, sorry there's only four left there's only four left of these well i'm i'm sort of getting used to the idea through slightly gritted teeth now that a jelly roll is going to cost me around about 50 pounds yes yeah now yeah. and that's become mm. you know in my head they're still about 30 but in reality they're not yes um but, but yours are. mine are yes so that's great and yeah you do you get 48 two and a half inch strips cut that's salvage to salvage, four of each design. So plenty of room there for balance and breadth. And also there are no kind of filler fabrics yeah. in the range. They're all lovely designs. They're all designs you're gonna use um, as I say, I've added some one and a half inch strips of white to space everything out. Um, I've used the six and a half inch squares and I've used both different colors of rice bowls. The other thing I just want to point out: if I didn't buy, if I try to interrupt, yeah. if I didn't buy the, if I did, if I only bought the yes. design roll, could I make those up using? And would there be enough fabric to make those up? Do a nine patch. Oh, do a nine patch. Two and a half inch strips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, four, six. Yeah. And then you'd have a nine patch. I'm just that thinking, would look I'm, even nicer. I'm just I think. thinking if somebody has only. Why didn't I think of that? You hadn't got me on your team. Coach, you? come on! Yeah. You shouldn't have told me that's your nickname. That's <laughs> it now, forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than yours. What was it, sardine? Do you call sardine in prison? <laughs> what was it, pilchard? I can't remember. <laughs> There's only one. What? <laughs> Right, there's one oh design gosh, roll, sorry. one design roll left, but 33 in baskets. Um, but I was just thinking, if you hadn't bought, if you hadn't bought any of the solid fabric, Absolutely obviously right. you're going to need to buy more for your border and things like that. I mean, you don't need to border it if you don't want to. You could, I could. In fact, I wasn't going to put a border on this quilt, and then I just thought, oh shucks, I'm going to. Yes. So I did. But I actually, I was going to go the kind of modern way, which is borderless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. just bind it. So either would look good. But you could also do a piano key border around it using the two and a half inch strips sewn mm -hmm. together. That oh, would also yeah, look course. lovely. Have a look. Ah, oh, that's amazing. I thought I'd send a photo of a simple quilt I made last year with Stuart's Kyoto fabric. Three out of five cats approved it on the garden swing. <laughs> Angela from County Durham. Oh, Be what beautiful cats. Aren't they? Beautiful. Really lovely. Gorgeous. What was wrong with it for the other two? Yeah. <laughs> what was their objection? Well, there wasn't really room for them on the bench. That, is, really, true. If you that is true. That is true. It's beautiful, right. Angela. Where would you like to go next, cat? <laughs> I don't quite know what we're going to do, right? Because we're going to sell out. I'm only 25 minutes into the hour. Shall I ask Charlie for more, pic more videos? Yes, from the yes, park? yes, yes, yes. We might have had another kid delivered by oh. now. <laughs> 12 pack of fat quarters. How many of these have we got? Oh, there's only three of these that are on camera two. Three of these left, right? So now, these are fat quarters. They are. Uh, are we going to show sorry, some? No, 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 that's good, that's good. There's only three of these left. These are the ones you're going to get in here. And these are the same designs that you get in there, but there are 12 fat quarters in there for £22.49. Now, hang on. No, hang on. They were, they were £2 each a minute ago. So that means these should be £24, not £22.49. I know. Press are all over you'll the place. never be you'll <laughs> never make man. another million at this rate. I know, another million <laughs> <laughs> yeah you'll never be able to retire um beautiful again now how many have got left cat two and how many in baskets 15 in baskets all right then i'll just put that to one side show some inspiration so yeah i just thought i'd show you this so um this is a messenger bag that I made using Kyoto and what I did was I used the rice bowl fabric for the flap and of course you can get the front flap for a, a messenger bag bigger than this as well out of a fat quarter yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. and that's a great way of just showing off a particular fabric if you've only got a small amount mm -hmm. even if the rest of the bag was completely plain it would still be a statement bag yes um, easy way I love these magnetic 
clasps as well. Don't they just add a lovely classy finish? That definitely. Um, and you haven't got to faff around opening a buffer oh, and no, things like that. Oh no, easy. And then I just used the Flying Cranes um, fabric. A little so bit of contrast. that's a bit more than a fat quarter, isn't it? But I suppose the rest you could of do it. is in your fat quarter, you could use different fat Absolutely. quarter. If you bought the fat quarter bundle. You could get the sides and the base out of the fat quarter and then you could do front and back. You could piece it. Yeah. You know, I mean, we'd love our patchwork. Why not piece it together? Okay, next fat quarter pack is this uh, TLVT93. So you get five in here, do you? Now, these are more along the greeny tones in this one, aren't they? Here they you are. Go. So you get five there for $9.99. Five fat quarters in there for $9.99. Really good quality, fantastic value for money. So. And they're lovely, aren't they? I love that jade green. Interesting fact, I went to um, a little exhibition uh, of royal jade. Right. Royal Chinese mm. Jade in London. It was a few years ago and it was Im amazing, absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. and, I've, and I've been around some really nice um, jewellery stores in Hong Kong and seen some amazing jade, but this was truly incredible. And here's a, something I learned, I don't know if you knew this, but jade was only allowed to be worn by the royal family. Mm. Did you know I that? only know that because I've, I've changed in jewellery, so uh, I, I kind of and, that and that's why the mu the museum had all this incredible jade it was funerary jade and it had been buried and the tombs had been robbed <gasps> and all the gold had been taken all the other things had been taken but all of the jade jewelry was just left behind because you couldn't sell it oh, you couldn't no. wear it you can't melt it down you can't turn it into something else and only the royal family could wear it so it was worthless to anybody but the royal family wow. so that's why it, that's why it survived isn't wow. that cool? No, no, because I know they've just had an <laughs> influx into our sister channel. Not an influx, so I don't mean influx, so I delivery to our to our sister channel, oh, Maker and Gems. They've got and they have the it's just exquisite, isn't it? And there's something very special about mm. the colour and the feel of it. And that's warmth some, in your hand. Exactly. Mm. Let's do some more messages while we can. Ah, oh, you two are so lovely together and your shows are full of fun, inspiration and great products. Love to you both. Thank you, Susan. Oh, thank you, Susan. Susan, I'm heading your way tomorrow. Oh, are you? I'm down in near Southampton. Oh, yes. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Very nice. I'm at the Region 3 Quilters Guild Big Shindig. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you're leaving Charlie to look after all the... Charlie's delivering. He's there just with... with you Bubba know, gloves. You know, the big gloves that, that they wear in basketball? No. For, not to basket catch. Yeah, to catch. Oh. Baseball. Oh. <laughs> He's got one each. Um, yes, I am. So, so what's really that? What is he, Dan? What's, what are you doing down in Southampton? Uh, uh, so it's a big kind of uh, area day on Saturday. So um, Neil, who was in series three of The Sewing Bee, who was in the army. Oh no, he brought, yes, that's yes. right. We had his book on sewing quarter. Yeah. He's speaking in the morning. Not, mm, okay. Oh, do I have got the wrong no, one? No, yeah, not him. Anyway. Okay. But, um, oh, okay. No, no, he hasn't done a book. Okay. Um, and then I'm speaking so there in the was afternoon. There no was was in the army as well, wasn't Matt. that? Oh, there you go. Matt, there you go. yeah. <coughs> Same series. And then um, on the Sunday, I'm teaching a workshop. Wow. So, so is it open to the public or have they sold all the tickets or something? Or is it just know. for... I don't know. Mm -hmm. You just go for a nice time. Just turn you? up, yeah. Uh, message, right. What more can a girl ask for? Sunshine and my two favourite boys on Sewing Street. Oh, thank you. Uh, congratulations, Stuart, on the little edition. Perfect name for her is Sprig. I love oh, that. Oh, that's Mary. nice. Or oh, you're going to have too many names. Little Sprig. Yeah, little Sprig. Little Sprig. I love Stuart's maths. Makes things even more value for money. Thank you. <laughs> is my maths terrible? Yeah. Is it? Why? You're too cheap. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> affordable. You're very affordable. Yes. Cheap's yes. his middle name. <laughs> Um, that was my nickname in prison. <laughs> love these fabrics. We'll make fantastic garden dining set oh, yeah. and we'll attempt to recover the parasol while drinking sake. Oh, recover. I'd say oh. not recover it, but recover the parasol whilst drinking sake. Oh, no, sake has a dreadful effect on me. Did, mm. Did you have a bad do on sake? Yeah, I very bad. Did. Me and my friend Christopher got very drunk on Where? it once. In Colchester. <laughs> in Colchester, of course it was. We were doing panto. I worked there and he was doing panto then. We got him, me and Maggie got very drunk. Got all these pictures of us. Smith. Like, yeah. Oh, no. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Half the stock of these have gone. Now you get five fat quarters. I'm going to. Oh, there's more, more in baskets than we've got stock of. I'll just show you what you get. So you get the lovely. So have these got names? Can you remember the names? I can't really. It's water lilies. Water lilies, flowers, yeah, clam shells. Oh, Waves, bamboo, blossom. 
Yeah. Beautiful, aren't they? Just lovely. And they're all going to work together so well. And all, like you say, just get a navy. Yeah. And that'll team them all together. Navy or them. white, or maybe even that lovely tomato orangey red. That would be gorgeous. Mm. Hot tomato. Hot. To I love a hot tomato. Mm. And also, as well, paprika. Um, you could mix these very nicely with some of the indigo elements as well. Mix some well, of the blues. If they manage to get them. Absolutely. If you've got them in your fabric collection mm -hmm. too. Just wanted to show this yeah, little of bag off as well. Um, this was a bag I made using uh, the fabrics from Kyoto. Right. So in the centre, these are um, essentially two and a half inch squares, which I actually sort of fused to a piece of interfacing. Right. And then I made. Uh, binding, well, not, not binding, you know, like bias. Bias, yeah. Tape, but not on the bias, on the straight of the Okay, okay, yeah. But folded that. tape using a tape maker and then glued it over the top, fabric glue pen, you know, glued it over the top of all of the raw edges and then just stitched down the sides. Wow. And then once that was done, I added on the sides mm -hmm. in the rice bowls, um, four sides, and then just made it up into a tote bag. Easy. That's more than a tote bag, though, isn't it? That's a nice, solid... Oh, yeah. You know. And it kind of, you know, I mean, obviously, there's lots of... Lots going on, mm. lots of different skills, you know. Um, but, yeah, and again, small pieces of fabric, lots of impact, because they're kind of all together, but also kind of calmed down with that grid of navy that just helps to give a little I space. I love it with the navy. Mm. Love it. Um, did we get the email that the lady was going to send in for Stuart earlier? Oh, that's fine. Then. Oh, that's that's the lady that said. Oh, oh God, can you read that one out yep. first? Morning, John and Stuart. What a joy you are to watch together. It's like listening to two friends chatting in a coffee shop from Carol. Carol, oh, but, but you know, you. Carol, but you know, sorry. we only met, we've, we've always avoided each other. No, we haven't avoided. <laughs> Don't say that. <gasps> You're so rude. Oh, sorry. Did I hit the mic? Where is your microphone? Just up here. No, it isn't. It's about down there. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> um, oh, sorry. It's fall. It's fallen down. Oh. John. There we go. Okay. Um, we've missed each other. And yes. Also, and then we, we were at one event at the same time. And Stuart was walking towards me like this, and we were going to chat. And then Debbie Shaw came in, went like she this, did. took me away. Yeah. But Stuart yeah. was just left stand, yeah. stood yeah. standing there. Story of my life. Oh, you know. there you go. But now, um, we're here now. Right, hang on. Uh, so many sellouts. Can you two tap dance? Love June. No. Ready? <gasps> oh. I can't. No, you la do lap dancing, what was that apparently. About birds twerking this morning. No tweets. <laughs> couldn't stop laughing. Uh, but it was yeah, the other morning, I woke up, I thought, oh, how lovely to live in the countryside. They're busy tweeting away. An hour and a half later, I'm like, oh, please. I just know. I, I was a little bit like that at home. It was yeah. like, oh, the dawn chorus. Oh, it, oh, how beautiful. Yeah. And then, yeah, that 45 minutes, they were like, oh, shut, shut up. Shut up. Yeah. I can't bear it. <laughs> Right, oh, hang on. Oh, I'm even doing looks, looking at Facebook messages. I do apologise. Too busy chatting. Shall we put some graphics in? What have we got to sell next? Which one's that one? What number you... Oh. OK, so I've got NZV and I've got OAV. NZV. Right, tell us what's in there. OK, so what you get in this pack is you get five half metres of fabric. So you're getting... How many big... have we got, first of all, before you open it? Oh, yeah, go on. Can open I open it? it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, right. uh, while you're opening, I'll just tell you that, oh, my word, there's so many messages. Thank um, you. <laughs> uh, Lo Louise says, very happy St. Patrick's Day. John Stewart and team, very warm, sunny Dublin. I'm sad I won't be able to get to the quilting day in Belfast on the... Th oh, Louise, don't worry. I'll see you at another one. Becky Ann's under Frost, love the quilt. Lynn says, lovely to have you on today, Stuart. You two together are a treat. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, oh, you're very busy. She says you're very busy at the moment, which is miss seeing you this week. <laughs> I love a pretty bag flap, says Dawn. I love Stuart's fabric, says Susan. Um, Pam says, Series 3, Great British Showing Bee, Neil was my favourite. So talented, and his kilt was fabulous. It was fabulous. You know, I'm really looking forward to meeting Neil. He was my favourite. He was absolutely the one that I had earmarked from day one that he was going to win. Oh, and where did he come in then? Well, he was in the final, uh -huh. but I'm going to put it out there. 
that is for me that's the problem with the first past the finishing post system yeah yeah, yeah. Of winning oh, yes, a competition. Yes, 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 yes. if you're if that final thing you stumble you could have been the best person for the entire series which I'm gonna say in my opinion Neil absolutely I was. Say I was <laughs> <laughs> no my mum thinks I'm the best person yeah, we, that's yeah. ever been on so of course but that's just my mum's yeah. opinion um, and I love her for it but yeah, you know, Neil was amazing from day one. He got sort of, you know, um, a garment of the week so many times, you know, and I think he stumbled on the last You see, show. That, that's what I hate about those shows, because it's like the baking and the dancing and the ice skating, everything. Yeah. You could be brilliant every week. Yeah. Last week, mess up your bolero, I and know. that's it, you're done for, aren't you? Um, and quickly, Claire says, you two are hilarious, poor birds outside. Judith says, June got it right. I keep imagining you two with straw boaters and canes. You're both brilliant. Do you know, when I think of you, I think of, I think of us sitting in pyjamas in bed like Morecambe and Wise. Oh. <laughs> Me on a typewriter finishing off my latest book. Of course. And you, you know, doing something else. Like, I what, what I talent have I got? I've got talent, that's the problem. <laughs> You've got lots of... Oh, I'm sure you have. <laughs> let's, let's just think of them now. Anyway, what's in your bundle? <laughs> I've shown it once. <laughs> I don't care, I'll show it again. <laughs> Qu quick up. <laughs> oh, is that what they Bamboo. are? Yeah, they're quick up. Oh, yeah. Bamboo. Bamboo leaves. Uh, the blossom. We have none of this by the half metre. These are half metre pieces in a bundle, but yeah. we don't have individual fat. And now, can we just explain? Frankly. It's not that we've been inefficient or anything like that. It's just that it's not available, is it? No, no, that's right. It's just not available um, on the bolt anymore. So all we've got left now are the pre-cuts. Right. And so, I think this might be it anyway. I was going to say, so when these are all gone... I think that's it. That's it then, mm. isn't it? So when's the next range coming out? Um, I'll have a Christmas range out very oh, soon yes. in the summer. Yeah, um, of course. Which is called cross stitch Christmas very nice and then um, in the autumn I will have another main quilting range out fantastic yeah say no more say no more right I've got OAVT 38 how many of these have we got so this one is uh, blossom and these are those gorgeous fresh jade greens you've got the um, water lilies oh, again it's that sort of elemental uh, sense there of the lovely water lilies i love those ones you know that you can stand on have you seen those water lilies the leaves what they're so big they're so big and thick that you can stand on them when you uh, drive into my village <clears throat> from the other end there's a very s still river and in the summer it's completely not the big ones like that but it's just so beautiful because the bridge they haven't filled the sides of the bridge and so you just mm. see this water and all these beautiful water lilies going for amazing. miles up yeah amazing i love that one that jade bamboo leaves i love bamboos i've got lots of bamboos in my garden they provide lovely screens don't they a sort of dappled mm. shade and i love the sound of them yes, as well yes, yeah so you have just to be careful they don't go wild though don't you because they've got a tendency to mine are in really big pots oh okay mine, got... mine's in the mud are and they? so my next door neighbors have now got so many bamboo they don't mind uh, but no. they do go They're don't like... they you should get yourself a panda a panda <laughs> <laughs> have you got them on your farm no, 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 in the, just in the garden, just I in the garden. I did want, when I first moved in, I did want micro hippos. I wanted a whole water-themed garden right. and micro hippos in the garden. Are right? there such a thing? Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Like, okay. well, yes. But um, then I found out how hippopotamuses go to the toilet and I was like, I don't think I'll be able to. What, I will demonstrate, very good, right, so when they want to go to the toilet, not for a tinkle, okay. but for, yeah. right? This is Do they the, raise their hand? <laughs> no, but they go and they, their tails goes round really fast like that and it spreads it around so that they don't just like a horse on the road no. really far. It's not that, it's like that. So yes. I imagined 20 micro hippos. They'd be perfect on a farm, wouldn't they? Yeah, because they send them out into the field. Yeah, yeah propagate. But, is that the word? That's no, not the right word. <laughs> Isn't that where you, you fertilise? <laughs> anyway, we'll move on. We'll move on. Oh, my goodness. You do crease me up. Love you both together. You've really made my day from Shirley. Is that not the right Shirley. word? I don't know. I, thought, I don't I, quite know what was in your head. I, no, but no, like, you know when you have your muck spreaders? Yeah. Isn't that propagating? 
If I've said something rude, I don't know. No, I'll I don't think so. Cat, look up propagate. Read we that propagate while I just look up here. Stems, don't you? Hi, Stuart and John. You've helped chase away my wee black clouds this morning. Oh, bless you, Julie. Oh, no, your kiss. A joy to watch and gorgeous fabrics too. Thank you. Oh, that's oh, a prince. We all need a little laugh sometimes. We do. We? Princess says you two light up my life. I love you both. You're so funny together. Lisa Lamb's watching everybody. She says you two are amazing. You could be the heckling guys from the Muppets. No, actually, that's you and Jenny Jackson. Ooh, we wouldn't be that's them. That's fighting talk from Lisa Lamb. We'd be the glamorous <laughs> ones in the, in the, you know, kind of don't quite know who were Which glamorous. Which glamorous ones? Well, Miss Muppets. Piggy. <laughs> Miss Piggy, good. <laughs> Excellent. Just keep digging, John. Yeah, Just right, keep then. digging. Uh, I got you as the two... <laughs> oh, no, someone else has said the same thing. I've got you down to the two men in the theatre box on the Muppet Show laughing oh, at one. must be true. Morning, my boys. Stuart, what is your angel policy? I want to adapt your cosmetic bag for my charity, Period Power. Love you, Sandy Kegworth. Sandy, by all means, please, that's wonderful, yeah. So do you have an angel policy for any of your patterns or anything? Yeah, I just say don't put them into mass production. So when I talk about mass production, I mean 500 plus okay, of a right. design. Yeah. So not You're not going to make 500 for your charity. But also it's quite nice that... Uh, it's different it's if wonderful a that you want to do, do that. for charity and, and help lovely. others yeah, or if exactly. you want to make them and sell them I mean that's cool too I started a little business um, 24 years ago to help pay for my quilting two. well to help pay for my quilting addiction you know yeah, 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 that yeah, was yeah. how I, I paid for my fabrics and my books and stuff like that I started a little business mm -hmm. selling fabrics and selling things like that so yeah, please do. Oh, please do. brilliant! Um, how am I doing with stock on these? Uh, half the stock is gone, but lots in baskets. Mm. Half the stock of the blue. Now, so I need to explain though. You do, they are meter pieces. They're not half. half meter. Sorry, half meter pieces, not fat quarter bundles. So these are half meter pieces in here. So you're getting a total look of two and a half meters for twenty four ninety nine. And just to give an idea, John, yep. with five two and a half metre pieces, you can make two messenger bags. In fact, so out I of this, probably three. I actually. can make three bags. Three messenger bags out of the half metre, yeah. Because if this was, this is 12 inches wide, if it was 15 inches wide, I'd say you'd need half a metre um, outer and inner. I'm talking lining here as well. Yeah, yeah, oh, brilliant. Not just for the outer, but lining it too. You need about half a metre for the outside, half a metre for the inside, but this is a bit smaller. So yeah, and if you start mixing and matching with a few solids as oh, well. Oh yeah, definitely. I reckon you'd get three bags. It's a lot of value. Mm. Now the rice there. bowls are only were only available in the big bundle. They're not in either of these, are they? The rice no, bowls. No, they're not. They're not. That was sorry. I just realised the corner was all poked oh, in there. Honestly, honestly. Um, but you know, it would be really lovely to use different fabrics for the feature. I mean, in the um, blossom pack the half meter pack this one right here you've got this fabric which is one of my absolute favorites even though it's sort of that white background and it's a you know lighter print i just love it it's so serene so pretty and i think a satchel made out of that mm. with bound edges would be beautiful mm. really lovely so kind of flip it and reverse it but also you've got two and a half meters of fabric if you mix that with a solid or something, that's going to make you a lap quilt a la i was going to say there's enough there to make a lap quilt yeah, isn't there without a doubt yeah. without a doubt so let me just recap then so we've got this one here which is your blossom one so they are half meters i'll just hold that in there half the doctor's gone to so get half a meter half a meter half a meter right okay but you've got to be careful because once you're all checked out there's single figures on that one now single figures on that one okay then this bundle here which is the other half meter bundle which uh, there's only 10 of these left i oh i'm 15 people got it in basket so if you want that you do need to check out remember you're getting half meter pieces they're not fat quarters they're half meter pieces i love that one thank you Beautiful. and then this one here this is the only other thing i've got available you get five fat quarters in this one there are 20 left, which sounds a lot, but how many people are in baskets? Oh, way too many people got them in baskets, you see. <coughs> so oh, should we me. talk about books then? Let's do that. <coughs> so I've got two books here. 
I think the first time I, I th w w did we have one of these at the sewing quarter? I seem to remember. Uh, and you scraps. Make okay. Of quilt. Right. Which one would you like to talk about first? You scraps. Sew blocks make a hundred quilts. You're not telling me there's hundred patterns in there. There are. Can I tell you the story of how it came to be? Go on then. So this was my second book, but my first quilting book. Right. What was your first book then? It was called So Fabulous. And what was, oh, so. So Fabulous. Okay, with the kick. Yeah. I didn't want to call it So Fabulous. I wanted to call it Sewing Me, Sewing You. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. um, Alan. Yes, exactly. Well, Aberesque. Yeah. You know. um, but of course, no one would have searched for that. Oh, of course. So, so fabulous it was. And what was that about then? Um, that was about sort of sewing for your home. I've always been a big fan of using quilt weight cottons to make other things mm -hmm. other than quilts. So things like, you know, recovering chairs or making a beanbag armchair, mm -hmm. um, stuff for your table, um, oh, windmills for the garden, you name it. It was basically kind of every room in your house plus some gifts different things to make. Okay. So it was great fun. This was book two. And um, my publisher said, yeah, um, uh, quilting book, lovely, great. So do, you know, show us a book that's going to have like 12 quilts in it. Right. Which is quilts. what you'd expect because, you what know. you normally get, 12 yeah, to 15. Yeah. So I put 12 or 15 quilts together and sent it as a proposal. And they said, oh, God, I mean, each individual quilt, love it, beautiful, yeah, but they don't go together they don't kind of look the same oh okay yeah they don't look the same so in a way that you know because cave's quilts are all made using his fabrics mm -hmm. they all hang together do you know what i mean you yeah, want to yeah, look yeah. at the, what's that one doing in there yeah. i'm very eclectic mm -hmm. in my taste of fabric in my taste in quilts i love traditional i love really modern i love larry i love quiet and subtle yeah 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 so anyway, they said, no, you know, we need them all to look the same, basically. Please work it out. Okay. So I'd got a few weeks, hadn't done it, <laughs> didn't yeah. know how I was going to do it. And I was literally on the train going to London for the meeting where I was going to show my publishers how I'd worked it out. Oh, no. And I, so I was like a naughty boy on the bus going to school yeah. doing his maths homework. Yeah. So I thought, come on, Kath, think, think, Kath. And, um, Kath. Family joke. Um, well, I'm glad the family knows what he's talking about. <laughs> and, um, and I just thought, I'm looking at this all wrong. I'm looking at my eclecticism and loving all the different styles and all the different, as if it's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, no. it's a wonderful yeah. thing. I just can't do it <laughs> with 15 quilts. Yeah. And I just wrote on the pad 100 quilts and underlined it. And then I thought, <laughs> done got to my meeting and they said so tell us how have you worked it out I said we're gonna do a hundred quilts and they said we love that idea of fantastic course. go away and write the book so that was that and then, but then you had, but then did you have a hundred patterns well it's wonderful no I no no mind. but did you have them or did you have to go home oh, and no, stop no no I mean at, at that point you know they just want to know like what are you gonna do oh okay so it's fine it's fine so <laughs> just to prove I can do pretty and quiet and subtle yeah. <laughs> machine stitch cathedral window. Uh -huh. Is so, that in a barn? Is that taken in your barn? Do you know it's not? This is central London. This was, well, Shoreditch. Right. And we were in this sort of, it was like an old, oh, I don't know, an old source factory. You know what it's like yeah, in yeah, Shoreditch. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> a friend of mine lives in an old ink factory in Shoreditch. There you yeah. go. There you go. Has he got a long beard and tattoos? No, he has not. <laughs> No, he's very designer, works at The Guardian. <laughs> oh, OK. Well, I'm surprised he hasn't got a long beard and tattoos yeah. then. But um, How did you decide? I mean, OK, 100, you've got... But then surely, how did you then decide what order to do them in, how to place them and all that? Well, you know what? Serendipity. It was really just... I just made and designed and Did enjoyed. you have to make all 100 of them? No. Oh. No. So lots of them are digital quilts. So they right. still have fabrics. They're still, and they look exactly like real quilts, uh -huh. to be honest with you. It's not, it doesn't make a lot of difference, really. Look at that old chair. Mm. You'd have thought they could have stumped up for a new exactly. one. Exactly. It's very short, it's John. It is very short. Very short. -itch. I've got a friend called Guy who had a house in Chelsea and he was going to yeah. sell it and buy a house in Shoreditch. I'm going back years now. Yeah. And I was like, and he was right by the railway line. Why would you do this? And I 
put him off buying this house, right? Yeah. And he still hates me for it because the house is now worth something like eight million pounds. Oh, yeah. And he was going to buy it for 300,000. I was like, oh, 300,000 pounds for a house in Shoreditch? You are mad. It's and he still yeah. hates me for it. I know. It was like when I left university, a friend of mine bought a bed sit, one room bed sit for 92,000. I bought a three bedroomed, double fronted, detached cottage yeah. with moorings in Norfolk for 72. I and know. I thought she was mad. Yeah. But a year later, she sold it for a quarter of a million. I know. I know. And mine was worth like 73,000. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. We're not so, bitter. Yeah, this is still in the Shoreditch, in the old source factory. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I just had so much fun um, putting together. And it's great fun as well doing the styling. And it was just an old bicycle. Uh -huh. Like there always is, yeah. <laughs> just stole it from the street. Uh -huh. I didn't steal it. No. All this talk about prison's not true. That's <laughs> one of my favourite quilts. Oh, is it? Deputy Joan piece at the top. Right. Um, it's called Covent Garden because... Now, you know London. I do. I was on the tube going through Covent Garden. Oh, I mean, I wasn't stopping at Covent Garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I saw the tile pattern along the platform, oh, which wow. is a single row. Yes, 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 it is. And I just thought, what a gorgeous pattern that would make for a quilt. So I hopped off the tube, took some pictures, and then hopped back on again. Oh. Every quilt has done that. Oh, no, no. But you see on Facebook fan page, people going, I'm just on holiday in Morocco. Yes. Or, or an Edward, Edward, your Victorian pavement or something like exactly that. Exactly right. Exactly right. So, you know, there's so many different styles. You can see why the publishers said 12 of these wouldn't hang together. No, exactly, because they're all so different, aren't they? But as a compendium of design, this is one of my most popular patterns, lipstick oh, and nail it? polish. Yeah, yeah, just great fun. And if you're making for like teenage girls, or, yeah, you know, the way gender fluid here, teenage boys can have it too. Yeah, oh gosh, absolutely. Um, and uh, uh, it's the pattern for each one in there then. Yeah. So, so there's a hundred patterns. The way I do it is, you get the what you need for one block. Right and then how to put the block together right and then I also say what's in the quilt so I've said you know I've done 16 blocks this is the size of the sashing this is the size of the border so it doesn't say you need to buy this much fabric this many fat quarters because the whole point of the book is use up your, fabric. Use your scraps mm -hmm. so the first thing that we should all try and do is go to our stash and look through and see what we've already got mm -hmm. So right at the start of the book, I have a whole, my top 10 tips for organising and using your scraps. So every quilter needs to read those. Brilliant. And then you can ignore them all if you want, but... Yeah, 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 but I think that, what, that sometimes you read things like that and then they just settle, don't they, in, the, in a yeah. recess somewhere in your brain. And many years later, it'll suddenly, where do I know this from? How do I know that? Charlie always laughs at this picture. Why? Because my hairy arms. It always says, couldn't they have done something about that? And but I'm that's like, really bizarre. But that's who. Do you know what we, when we worked for the jewel, uh, the, a channel selling jewelry, it's not a now open. <laughs> they expected us to wax our oh, hands. No, I refused. Yes. I bet you did. I bet you did. No, no, I, I used to have Botox in those days, and then I, I came to work. See, as, you oh John. gosh, yeah. I was uh, every three months. I was down Beach and Place, Brenda Botox, uh, doing my Botox and everything. Um, but then when we did same quarter, just before we opened, I said, "Oh, I just go and get my Botox done." They went, "No, we don't want you to have Botox done." We want real, we want real, we don't want this. So I haven't had it done since. Well, I, I love, love you love for it. it. Thank Did you. you. Now, you've only got three minutes, one more book. Oh, okay, yeah. One Simple more Simple shape, book. stunning quilts. So, is this, so that's number two, is this number three? Well, this was my uh, third book, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, can I just show Dash? Yeah. Lovely Dash, the dog. This was the teenager's bedroom, and when he finally vacated the oh, room at teenager. 12... No, no, this was a house that, that my publishers had rented as oh, a right. photo shoot, you know. Mm -hmm. Fabulous place. Did you stay there as well? No, 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 oh, no. Just... No, we just, you know, you, the lovely houses, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, for, yeah. for locations. And we could have the run of the whole house apart from this bedroom, because the teenager was sleeping in there until 12 o'clock. Okay, fine. But as soon as he vacated, we were allowed in, you know. 
open a window. Yeah, oh no, <laughs> I have to tell you, the house I bought, I never saw the back bedroom because the teenage son was always in bed. When I, so I never saw the ha that until I moved into the house and it was bright red. And again, oh, windows open yeah, for three weeks. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. and it's literally, as soon as we went in there, this dog appeared from nowhere, raced through my legs, jumped on top of the quilt. Oh. And his owner came in and said, oh, I'm so sorry, Dash, get down, Dash. Dash. Um, get down. And I went, oh no, it's fine. I said, he can stay as long as you don't mind him being in the photograph in the, yeah. in the book. So she said, no, no, that would be so much fun. That would be lovely. Aww. And uh, the hardest thing though, John, <laughs> it took about half an hour to get Dash to lie modestly. I'll leave it there. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> but we had so much fun shooting the book. I must just show you this picture here. Bless my mum. Uh, yeah. Now this again is this is this is London for you. Uh huh. You can get this in Yorkshire. <laughs> my mum. My mum looked at this picture and she said, "What are they doing the decorating?" <laughs> <laughs> and I said, "No, mum. I said that's the. It's like that a paid paid to be like Yes. It's like an effect." She said, "But on the top, it's still mm. bare." plaster I said I know yes. it's London for It'll be you. expensive bare plaster very expensive yeah. Yeah, very I expensive a friend an actress friend who had the ceiling <laughs> and her lounge painted as I was all cracking and everything I was like what would you do that for I wanted to look for the oh no she had it all painted like that how much is that book 17.99 so how many patterns are in there though? a hundred oh, again a hundred there's a hundred yeah and again it's a real mixture what I did this time is the projects are organised into five chapters right so organised chaos yes <laughs> <laughs> remind you of anything mm. um and what I did was, <coughs> excuse me, I organised it into five chapters. So you've got one patch quilts. So there's 20 quilts in there that use one patch or one oh, shape okay, throughout. Right. Mm -hmm. um, second chapter is called strips and squares. Mm -hmm. But the quilts aren't all strips and squares. So for example, the pineapple log cabin, which is one of my favorites. Let me just find that quickly. Um, and also rainbow hearts, which mm -hmm. we've had on before now. Um, that's just made from strips and squares, but you know, it's fine. I'm not going to find it. Anyway, um, third chapter is triangles, fourth chapter is curves, and then the fifth chapter is foundation piecing. Mm -hmm. And you get 20 different patterns in each chapter, so 100 in total. There's is it called Pineapple Parade? Pineapple Parade, 46. 120. Page 120. Oh no, pineapple. No, pineapple red is a pineapple. Oh, okay. It's literally a pineapple. So you haven't called it pineapple, though? No. Um, it's probably not in there. There's no duplicates, no. No, they're all different. They're all different to the previous. There. Pineapple log cabin. That's it? Uh, okay. Uh, I love, I do love you two, entertaining and having a kutch. I have all your <laughs> books, Stuart. When is there a new one out, love? Oh, oh love, Welsh Mary. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Yeah, there's the pineapple log. He's not it? answering it, Mary, though, Sorry. is Sorry. But that's made out of strips and squares. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think it's amazing that sometimes you can put straight bits together and it looks curved, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all about, it's not what you do, it's the way that you do it. Banana um, Rama. There you go. There you go. Um, your new book. Well, yes. I'm just starting it I'm just starting writing it so it should be out uh, early spring of 2024 I know I know it's just um, my publisher you know they do take mm -hmm. nearly two years to publish each book yeah but the good news is I'll have loads of patterns in the meantime, don't worry. Of, of course, and I'll also going. Uh, be careful with this sample because uh, and our lovely Anna Nikopirovic. Anna Nikopirovic. Easy for you to say. Exactly. She had her book written, sent all the samples off to the people who were photographing it and the courier lost them oh, and it's oh, never oh, been found, oh, right? Oh, so instead of a book oh, coming oh, out oh, next oh, year, oh. it's now coming out two years later. Because she had to remake everything. Yes, totally. Oh, oh, so all the patterns nice are all written and ready to go, but they were going to have to be photographed. John, when I, I wouldn't even send the book by Dropbox, I got a train to London with a, with a printed copy and the um, stick yeah, yeah. on a necklace around my neck. It was like it was chained <laughs> to my body. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Right, Stuart's back in an hour's time. It's Yarn Lane, but stay here, right? Stay here, right? But uh, we're selling all of your gorgeous um, yarn. But what we're going to say, I'm just going to show you a slide very quickly. If you buy the yarn, it could just be one ball of yarn, right? You will go into a competition and there's the slide. Uh, buy any yarn product from today's show and win a Stylecraft sock kit plus free sock pattern to everyone who shops on Yarn Lane Day. While well, stock slot, that is. Right, now, the only thing is this hasn't got a signed photo in it. Will you put a signed photo in it? Please. If we've got one. Have you not got hundreds at home? I'm not that vain. Oh, <laughs> Everywhere. I'll, I'll just, oh, well, prop, yeah. Propping up coffee tables and all sorts. Oh. Well, if we can find one, we'll put one in. Yes. They must have one in the office, surely. You'd have thought so. You'd have thought so. My mum's not giving hers back. No. Neither should she. Oh, hang on. The yarn is very popular, Cat's saying. Most popular with Guatemala. I'm using that right now myself. Oh, well, there you go. That's this one right here. That's this one right here. Okay, Kat saying if you've got that in your basket, please be careful. It's up in an hour's time. Now we're we going to be doing an knitting in that hour. I've got my needles. Good. He'll be back in an hour. I'll be back in four minutes. Uh, I've got Liberty Fabrics. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. 
For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Sorry we didn't get to with all your messages in that last uh, hour. So many came through. Um, Jean is babysitting with her granddaughter. She's fast asleep, but Jean's enjoying the show. She loves all the fabric. Uh, Jan said, I've had you two chatting away in my pocket, all of Nina's walk. No idea what the fabrics look like, but a very enjoyable show. <laughs> Glennis says, good morning, John. Watching whilst resting, I've got a trapped nerve. Oh, Glennis. And Claire says, the tile patterns on tube stations are all different. Not all passengers could read when the underground was built, so they knew where they were by the patterns. Oh, what a good idea to know that. Liberté, Liberté, Liberté. What a day. Stuart Hillard, Liberty, John Scott. Pa oh, hang on, how are we doing with my panel? We'll check it. I'll just check. Just check. Right. Is that, yeah, 18 left, and how many in baskets? There's 18 left, but there are 62 in baskets. Make sure you check out, make sure you check out, make sure you check out. That's all I'm going to say. Right, moving on. Right, Liberty Bundle. Liberty Bundle. Now, this is a new one. We had it in the bright colours, remember? Then we had it in these gorgeous, gorgeous, subtle colours. Hang on, I need to see where I am on the overhead. There you go, perfect. Thank you, Charlie. Already been selling on pre-order. So, it's not just this. I've got all sorts of Liberty fabric. And I've got all... Everything's by the half metre as well. So, if you, if you want bundles, you can buy bundles. If you want to buy half metres, you can buy half metres. Right, this is £104.35p. Split pay. Two split pays of £52.17. Yet yeah, half a metre for free. Oh, Liberty Fabric, what's not to love, says Susie. Susie, you should be making a cake. Not watching me. You should be baking. And making... To Susie's on tomorrow, making tomorrow's samples. I completely forgot she was on tomorrow. Isn't that bad of me? I thought it was... I thought it was Tuesday. I'm so confused. Anyway, this bundle is gorgeous. These are called the Liberty Emily Bell Neutrals. I could have thought of a better word, but neutrals is what we call them. Aren't they lovely? So you get half a metre of all of those. You get one for free. Let me just take you through. So you've got a lovely soft pink, pale green, a lilac, a charcoal, a grey, a lemon, a, an ivory cream. Now, not all of these are available by the half metre, I need to warn you. Beige, soft mushroom, middle mushroom, darker mushroom, silver grey, dove grey, soft grey, and a lovely, lovely blue colour there. Now, how many have I got left, you say? Eight of the bundle left, that's it. Eight of the bundle, that is it. Can you imagine... A beautiful bar's yellow out of those. Uh, I'm multitasking, watching, sewing, pressing and baking. So when she's doing her demonstration, right, if there's like flour on her bits and bobs, then you'll know why. Anyway. Right, that's gorgeous. Is £104.35? pence. Right, I will do what we've got by the half metre. I shall shout out the numbers and Kat and will tell us if they're available. GYYV43. Yes, soft, soft, delicate pink. There's only three and a half metres of this left. It's Liberty. Now, it's quilting weight Liberty, remember. It's just gorgeous. The quality is beautiful. £7.49 for half a metre. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. Seven pounds and forty-nine pence for half a meter. It's lovely, isn't it? Very delicate but beautiful. You can tell it's Liberty straight away, can't you? Lovely soft pink. What do we call it? Uh, powder rose. Powder rose. 
it's lovely now this is where if you bought the bundle you could only get half a meter of it if you buy it now you can buy as much as you want but there's only three and a half meters of this one left so you need to um uh, I'm, I'm presuming i'm presuming we'll get more of it in i'm presuming but who i'm being very presumptuous because i haven't seen the bright since we sold out of those have i so who knows who knows well done Oh no, Sarah Payne's got COVID now as well. Oh dear, who's just said that? A Claire said it. Oh no. Right, now I've got like a very soft peppermint green, USYV21. There's only two and a half meters this one left. Two and a half meters. £7.49 for half meters. Lovely, soft, and delicate. And perfect for spring and summer, I would say. lovely beautiful what color do we call it soft mint there you go then i've got like a lilac-y lavender color k-a-y-v-95 ah oh, it's funny i thought there were two la oh, lavenders in here anyway lilac it's called this one lilac that's beautiful isn't it you know i can hear a noise and it sounds like my washing machine is upstairs in my house right and when it's on the spin cycle it sounds like this vibes downstairs. That's what it sounds like. And I think it might be the aircon or something. I can hear it. Anyway. It's a witch fan. The one in my biggest fan. Doesn't make a noise like that. Lilac. It's lovely, isn't it? Such a warm, sunny day. What? Oh, is it lovely outside? I had a day off yesterday and it chucked it down all day long i've got my awning they fit in my awning i've got a yellow and white stripe awning in the back but for some reason i thought it had scallops on the edge but it doesn't i was a bit disappointed okay so cat's got a yellow and white stripey bikini um hers has got a scalloped edge um and i'll be able to get the garden furniture out that i bought last year soon i'm just a bit frightened in case we get that beast from the east again that we had G no, it won't blow away, but I don't want to get it wet. I wanted to keep it pristine for the summer. GPYV98. Now the six metres this left. That's very... I see, I'd put that with a pink. I'd put that with a, like a... Oh, hang on, that one. Maybe I'll put it with that one. Do you know what? I'd definitely put it with a pink of, of some description. Oh, hang on, what's that one? Oh, 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 oh. I've got the ones from the brights. Look, maybe mix it with that. Oh, oh, even better, that one. Oh, they look nice. So these are from the brights range. Beautiful. Next one is ZRYV15. They're all the same pattern and they've all got the paler flower. Oh, actually, I'm telling a lie now. I was about to say, they've all got the white flower. That one didn't have a white flower, did it? Yeah. Uh, this one's called lead. Oh. Colonel Mustard with the lead piping in the library. Moving on, we've got the uh, lemon now, the AXYV01. The only two and a half metres this one left. Oh, that one's beautiful. Look at the fresh, fresh lemon of that one. Yeah, can we allow to do outside broadcast in this new studio? They must be able to. Outdoor, an outdoor um, OB. You'd like that, Charlie, wouldn't you, doing an OB? Right, then this one's gorgeous. This is IOYV98. It's almost invisible, this one. Can you see? I, oh, I can't come in closer on that one, I'm afraid. We can go to number two, though, can't we? Have a look. Can you see? Look. It's beautiful, isn't it? We're very, very close there. Oh, there we go. I do what? Ange. Hi, John team. Been lovely to listen to you and Stuart today. Feeling a bit sorry for myself, to me and my mum and granddaughter. Oh, no. There's something... Something's happened, hasn't it, this week? Because... Um, there's so many people got so, well I don't think you catch COVID because people have been out mixing 
No, I think I think it's well they're, they're all feeling because they've got COVID. No, no, I'm not saying about the planets. I was feeling really, really low yesterday. But um, this one's uh, WFY V98. But so many people come down with COVID in the last couple of days. Um, but nobody's poorly, poorly. They're all just sitting at home, bored. <coughs> Say that again. Say that again, Charlie. Oh, no. This one's called... Oh! This, this one's called cotton. This one's called... The colour is cotton of this one. What are you trying to say? I think it's the colour of that... That's the colour of the cotton balls on the, on the cotton plants. Right, OK. Uh, o... No, not O. Q-E-Y-V-06. Loads of these have been going on pre-order, by the way. Gorgeous. Fabulous. What do they have? 749. Right here. Then I've got the... Um, APYV23. Maybe we have got them all by the half meter. Cat thought we hadn't got them all. This one's called oatmeal. Beautiful. I wouldn't call that one oatmeal. That's a bit grey, I'd say, for oatmeal. Uh, WFYV41. <coughs> Excuse me. That's pretty, I like that one. That one, clay. Don't we know somebody? Oh, yes, um, uh, Christopher, our old uh, floor manager, his son is called Clay, isn't he? He's what? He's not called Clay's son, he's just called Clay. No, he's just called Clay. Yeah. Beautiful. I think it's after... Um, some ice skating, um, ice hockey player, isn't it? Right. QIYV90. Lovely. Hmm? Beautiful. Uh, what colour is this one? Steel. Steel magnolias. Oh, I can't believe it's sunny outside. Come on, let's hurry up. We haven't got to stick around today, have we? We haven't got any reason to stay around today. It's tomorrow, isn't it? What, what? Oh, sorry. F-E-Y-F-E 47. Are you on tomorrow, Charlie? Oh, OK. Oh, has Bruce not been feeling very well either? Oh no, Christine's off to a friend's funeral later. Once how much John and Stuart have brightened my day so much. Oh, Christine, you take care. Wear something bright. Mind you, when my friend Cathy had her funeral, that was in her will that we weren't allowed to wear anything bright, we had to go traditional black funeral garb. I know. Anyway. Yeah. The other one's called Enzo, isn't he, or something like that. YNYV73. It's what? Silver Birch. It, no, it's a tree. It's a tree, and it's got... Um, well, you can get the trees. I'm having one put in my garden. Plant a tree for the Jubilee. I'm planting a silver birch. Yeah. It's glorious in Eastbourne. Blue sky, sunshine and really warm. All right, all right. It's going to be like that for the next four days, and I'm stuck in here for the next four days. Yeah, but then, you see, I'm only off on... I was looking at my diary. I'm off on Monday, in on Tuesday, off on Wednesday, and then in for four days after that. I know, then I'm off for the rest of the month, then. Last one. Is there anyone left? LBYV40. Okay. Pale sky. We've got what? 
maximum of any of these four to four and a half meters just so you know beautiful now shall I do the brights then quickly after that might as well this is LIYV07 beautiful this one is candy floss so get candy floss and put it maybe no I wouldn't put it with that one put it with a silvery color candy floss beautiful next one is shutters I mm, don't know where to put that shutters what's the matter oh they called it lime because this one that was called shutters Line. Sorry, I didn't give you a number, did I? Uh, lovely. I think that's gorgeous. Oh, we haven't got saffron. Saffron sold out. Because this one and saffron look gorgeous together. Then I've got cobalt, I think it is. FSYV89. F S Y V eighty nine. Oh, this is a different fabric, that's why. This isn't a bright, this is Elm Scott. Oops. How odd, I've just got one Elm Scott in the middle of all of this. Oh yes, look, isn't it that? I've got oh, I don't know where that's come from. I'll um, do that. I'll, 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 have we done it? I'll do that. I'll do some more Elmscott. Uh, Kelmscott in a minute. Silhouette blue. Oh, that threw me a little bit. Right, yo. Then I'm going back now to this MPYV24. This is Emily Bell in lavender. Or mauve, is it? Violet. Oh, Violet. My sister Violet. Swimming pool. Room for a pony. Seven pounds and forty nine pence. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I missed that. I missed that bit. B W Y V eighty four. Beautiful. Bright blue. Well done. Congratulations. Now I've got one more. Oh, is it the same? Let's just check. Yeah, I think so. This is beautiful, this one. 82, this one is. This is the cobalt one. Stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Right, now let's go to the Kelmscott ones. I'll just do the Kelmscott ones. If you want to see any of them together, just message in. ZFYV69, this one. That's nice, because there's an extra colour in this one, isn't there? That blue really pops, doesn't it? Uh, you are in a lot, John, because you're so popular. You may have your down moments, but you always cheer everyone else up. Oh, Susan, thank you. I only had one day. I only had one day of being down. One day of down. And then this last one here. No, last one of the Kelmscott. No, this isn't the Kelmscott. This is Artist's Home. Oh, I'm very cute. Oh, yes, this is Kelmscott. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I haven't got Kelmscott written on my thingy, but I did on the other one that was on. 7.49. Yeah, because we've got the Sally Ann coming up in a little while, haven't we? 
Uh, let me have a look. Morning, John. Made two dresses at the yellow and watermelon. Oh, really pleased with them. Can't wait for the summer now. Brilliant for dressmaking. Is that you, Mandy? It's a lot of noise. Oh, dear. That's not good. Are there lots of people in the green room again today, then? Is that all? It sounds like an awful lot more than three people. Right, should we do the Sally Ann next, then? Right, so... Why? No. No, this is Sally Ann Harrison, this one. Uh, Sally Ann, so basically you pay money and um, the money goes to charity and you can name a um, print, yeah. £7.49, this is Painted Sunset. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Well, you've seen it much closer up, aren't we? Because the overhead's broken, you can only see it at that distance. But I can show it to you. I can show it to you close to. Look, very close to. We can see the weave of the fabric. What blue? Grey. No, maybe. Maybe it's just I need to clean my glasses. That's the pink one. Then the blue, oh, now I've got two blue ones. This one's H-O-Y-V-26, this one. Oh, it was Mandy, it was Mandy, that's right then. I thought you meant the other one. You didn't tell us what happened about the cat flap. Oh, June, it's just, that. rouse, rouse, rouse. So, because the cat flap arrived June, the first time it was the wrong cat flap, Second time, the window didn't fit in the thing. They said, we'll rush it through for you. We'll get it rushed through for you. Rush through is next month, right? And I kind of said, that's not rushing it through. Anyway, they're the same company put the awning up as made the cat flaps. They're like, oh, you owe us for the second half of the awning. I was like, no, you're not getting that money until the cat flaps fitted. So they said, different parts of the company. I went, don't care. I went to the same company for both things. So it's of course a bit of a friction. Anyway, and I've already paid for the cat flap, you see. Um. Oh no. Anyway, and then last one of the Sally Ann. Liberty fabric, beautiful. Yeah, go go to Liberty's website. See how much you pay for this at Liberty. This one's watercolor garden, Sally Ann. They're stunning, aren't they? You've got what, say? Who have? Mm -hmm. Liberty isn't just a fabric shop. Liberty sells everything. You buy food. Uh, oh, can you get food in there anymore? I don't think you can. Right, moving on. Which one would you like to go to next, then? Little berries. Yeah. Got it in three different... I'll show you the three different colourways. I don't recognise this one. It's very... No. Sure, I will do in a minute, but... Oh, don't, don't even go there, Claire. It's just too upsetting. Right, this one is Juneberry. It's funny, I did this, I launched this collection, but I don't remember that one. Gorgeous colour. Oh, do you want the number? Only what? Eight metres, this one left. Pink, obviously. It's very pink. Bubble gum pink, I'd call that one. Bubble gum pink, that one. Oh. There you go. It's lovely, isn't it? What are you going to make with it? See, that one's definitely saying quilting to me, and I don't know why. Cosmetic bag, that'd be nice. Right, this, I've got two blue ones. So this one is DVYV90. So this is definitely like a bright marine cobalt bolt blue, this one. Sandra, morning John, what did you do all stop this morning? Can't wait to see you, 1st September at Belfast. From Sandra Makatia in Limavardi, in Limavardi, Limavardi. I'm, I'm, uh, no, I'm on holiday, uh, no, no, I'm doing, uh, no, most, you won't see me for most of September because I'm doing Yvonne's quilt show for the first and the second and then I'm off on my holidays 
You'll be fine. You've got Charlie. Message from Susie. I love the artist's home collection. Gorgeous for quilts, dresses and home decor. Fabulous. So now she's typing, sewing, baking. What was the other thing she was doing? What? Listening. Pressing. Cutting. Oh, yeah. Don't forget two outfits tomorrow, Susie. Oh, no, Susie. I don't know where you'll get changed because we're all in the same dressing room. Right. So this one is your... Um, what colour is this one? Sculpture. Is that the colour? Sculpture. Yeah, 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 but they, I thought they had, because the first one was called Pink. Wasn't it? The first one was called... P <laughs> She's just making it up as she goes along there. Where's this morning gone? I've not done sunny sewing yet. It's only half eleven. I've still got an hour and a half of us. Don't know what happened on the repeats either. When I came in this morning, I and come through reception. <coughs> I was on the big telly behind reception. I was like, why am I on? Because it's normally um hobby maker in the morning, isn't it? Yeah. The what sorry? Yeah, yeah. Artist sketchbook or something. No. I've got only got this in two colours though. The blues first. So this one was sculpture. Oh, uh, 15, yeah. Oh, now hang on, if you go there, I've got to turn it that way up, you see. No, that way up. Sorry, bad, my bad. Yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Oh, love this one. <coughs> oh, dear me. I don't know. I'm a master of the quick change in the car. Uh, Susie, you've not seen the car park here. Mm hmm. You'll have to fight. Don't go in that top left hand corner because all the, the smoking um, thingies in that corner, they're all standing. <laughs> I don't think anyone from here smokes, do they? I've never seen anyone of our, our team out there. Oh? <laughs> what, are you going to drink in that plastic shelter? Lovely. But you're not allowed to smoke indoors anyway. Do you smoke, Charlie? I should hope not. Right, next. You do. Sorry? That'll be this one, I imagine. Is that, is that right? No. I'll do these. Oh, no, I can see trailing marigold. I'll do these first, though. <clears throat> Which one are we doing next? Gorgeous. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Sussex. Oh, now, didn't somebody say that um, Stuart should call his new sheep sprig? This is called Sussex Sprig. You can name them all after Liberty Fabrics. Gorgeous, isn't it? £7.49. Beautiful. Then I've got that one in the more slightly, um, I don't want to say muted, but I want to say more vintage colours. Remember, you are getting hot buying it by the half metre. That's not a fat quarter. I just haven't opened out. There you go. 100% quilting weight, Lazenby cotton. Now, saying Lazenby, is that right? Lazenby cotton, I'm sure it is. £7.49. Beautiful. That would be lovely on, you know, I say this all the time and I've never watched the show itself. But um, on a lunchtime, there's, I think it's called um, Father Brown. And, um, and they're sort of set in the 40s, like in the Cotswolds in the 40s, late 40s, early 50s. That'd be nice frocks, I that. Well, 
What are you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll get it for you. There you go. No, I could just get that. Joe left his phone here because he was showing us the little lantern. Are you all right there? Yeah. Right, uh, let's do this um, scallopy lovely one here. Beautiful. Again, only in two colours. Blue first. This is lovely, isn't it? See, I'm seeing a summer skirt out of this one. May Meadow Daisy, this one's called. £7.49. Gorgeous. Beautiful. You see, now, I'm not sure I like these, um, no offence to Charlie now, but I don't like that web shot because that, may, can I just go back to it? That makes the colours look really quite washed out in comparison to what it is in real life, that's all. It's nothing to do with Charlie, I know, but I don't want, he's feeling very sensitive today. Pink one. Uh, I had a message from Elliot. On his birthday, when was his birthday? Oh, his first day. This is your meadow, a daisy in pink. Not yet, not yet. Righty-ho, then I think this is trailing marigolds in three different colours. I've got such a favourite in these three. I love that one. I'm wondering if that's one of the ones that we used in Seven Brides for Seven Brothers all those years ago. Anyway. It just brings back happy memories, that's all, and I don't know why. Trailing Marigold in the Painted Sunset. Maybe it was in a different colourway. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Limited Liberty, Limited Liberty, Limited Liberty. X-A-Y-V-0-8. Mmm. That's pretty as well, isn't it? The yellow in there pops out beautifully, doesn't it? You're right over there. Looking confused. You're right. They're all just in the bundle, those. 749. Last one of trailing marigolds. Mm hmm Gorgeous. Seven forty-nine. Fabulous. You're gonna make what in it? Yeah, what are you gonna make with it? Lovely summer frock, I think. Right, this is beautiful, this one. These tiny little daisies. Look at those. First, pink one first. Oh, that's so lovely, isn't it? This is, oh, this is another one, Caroline Campbell. Uh, Sue, Sue, he's not, he's not, he's not. 7.49, half a metre. Gorgeous, I love that one. Can we come in a bit closer on that one, Charlie? There you go, look, there you go. Woo! Sorry, if you're watching on the big telly, me doing that would make you fall off your sofa, wouldn't it? Lovely, fresh, vibrant, beautiful colours. You see, I'm either seeing a frock or I'm seeing a border on a quilt with that one. <clears throat> What's the matter? Why? Oh, okay, you're not going home first. VYYV76. What time have you got to be there? 
This is lovely. What colour have we got this one? This is the watercolour one. Beautiful, isn't it? What will you do? You've got scheduling to do. £7.49. £7.49. It's beautiful, isn't it? Then the last one of this uh, trio is that they're not muted colours, but they're kind of not as more subtle, these, aren't they? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Cut off the bulk for however much you want. How many have I got left, though? Seven and a half metres, this one left, that's all. Now, we're a little bit worried about the next hour now because a lot of Stuart's yarn is selling out, or almost selling out. Just so you know. I've got one, I've got, and I've got a fat quarter. That, we're not doing that. Right, so then I've got these three. Orange, blue, and denim. Orange first. Uh, this one's called Nikki Wildflower. I'm sure it'll be named after someone. Oh, we, do we not do slides here anymore then? No, 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 because when we launched this, we had slides, didn't we, about all the three different colour houses and who the people were and things. No, no, it's fine. I just wondered if they hadn't come over with us on the new system. If what? <laughs> Seven pounds and forty nine pence. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> then I've got the bright blue one, which is PBYV eighty one. <laughs> the key while fine watercolour Lynette says good morning John is Kerry Pawley heard Vic say so oh no no Lynette 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 what happened was uh, she's not Pawley but her, her unit where she keeps everything was broken into and they took everything they even took their son's bike which was locked up in there as well they've got it on film They've got it all on film. In fact, she put the film on Facebook. But, like, literally, first of all, it's disgusting that people would do that. Secondly, so upsetting. But also, the week before, sewing for pleasure. Anyway, she says her, her uh, supplier's been brilliant. And she's up at sewing for pleasure now. But just go and give her a hug. If, you, if you're there, go and give her a hug. Okay, and then the last one of these is the denim-coloured one. They've what? Why, what does that say? It's not hilarious, Sue, in my ear. Hi, John, you amaze me how you have three conversations going at once. I'm a similar age to you and I struggle with one. Liberty is beautiful, Mandy. Mandy, it's just, I have the voice in my head anyway, so I'm used to it. And then I've cat shouting and I've chat. No, no, you're not being, no, no, you're being nowhere near as bad today as you normally are. But, um, you know. So I have, I have Charlie's conversation. I have, um, Cat's conversation, and then if somebody comes into the gallery, I have their conversation. Yeah, Becky's not saying it, she's just giving me the look. Not a seductive look, no. Evil, she's giving me evil eyes today. No. She had her mask on all last week, didn't she? So she hasn't got a mask on today. She has got a grey bra on there. I can see it from here, your shoulder. She's got a top that's... Lovely. Right, now, I've run out of fabrics, but I've got to show you this first, but I'll move on. Move on. This is my early bird from this morning. 
we had hundreds of these half the stock has gone now it's it will be and should be 9.99 but because it's our early bird today Five ninety nine. You missed out at eight o'clock this morning. Chicka chicka. Oh, I forgot to take that bobbin out of this one. You don't get the bobbin. You don't get the bobbin. But that's to show you how you hold your bobbins in. But if you don't have them in a tower like that, they do come apart. Now you, you have to give it some good welly. Beautiful look. Does the bottom one come off? The bottom. Oh yeah, they all come off. They all come off. On the overhead they go. Oh. On the other day, again. five ninety nine. Put your bobbins in like that. Keeps the thread from. Um, oh no, isn't that funny? I, I was about to say, why do I put a pink one? Why do I put a pink one in? But it's not. It's white. There's a picture. Web image, as Charlie would say. Five ninety nine. I will be with Carrie at Home for Pleasure on Saturday. Baking for that too, says Susie. Oh. Baking for that. Oh, sorry, something happened on my screen there. You can't see that. No, it's because I was reading off that one, you see. It suddenly changed. Oh, so Susie Duncan will be on Kerry's stall on Saturday. And that's a, a, we're meant to be going on Saturday. Me, Kat, Hannah, and Vix, and Maisie. But uh, now, actually, have you checked that Maisie can go? Right, OK. I'll tell you this. That we went to one of them, and Natasha brought her baby, and they said that she couldn't bring the baby in. So you need to double check that you can take a baby in. Yeah. Okay, this is not a direct comparison, but I've got a comparison-esque. Well, oh yes, I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh, 16 pounds 80. It's not a direct comparison. Different brand, but it's almost the same idea, look. Hang on, are there more? One, two, three. No, no, six, six. So? Keep going through for that one. Yeah, people this morning will buy fours and fives of these. Um, maybe Christmas presents, maybe quilting group presents. Or oh, you've got lots of threads. I suppose if you've got if you've got a bobbin for every single thread that you've got, it's going to be a lot. Or you're keeping empty ones in it. Because when you open the packet, where do the empty ones go? Uh, we know that's a fib. Cat says they go on the floor and she loses them. It's so funny, Kat was sending me a message on WhatsApp the other day and I was like, you outside? She was like, no, I'm indoors. I was like, okay. <laughs> it's like the bus was in the room with her. Right. Hang on, I'll have to move. Oh, I don't know how you're going to do this. Right, excuse me, one minute. Somebody's asked very quickly, see the 570 machine? Just luckily I've got it here. Five seventy A, this one. Let me plug it in. I've not got an electric. So hang on, where are they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Oops! Come on, John. We love this machine. Margaret loves this machine. Loads of you love this machine. It's a fantastic for the money. It's the most brilliant machine. This. Right. Oh, would help if I switched the plug on. I suppose. Right? There you go. There you go. Now, did the table come over? No. You do get a table and a hard cover automatically with this. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is talk about the price, which I shouldn't really do because I should romance the machine first. This is the 570AV3. It is the most modern version of this sewing machine. Please go and look elsewhere. Now, you can Yahoo, Google and Bing it as much as you like. These, now, it's not us choosing the most expensive one to compare it with. These are the first one that pops up, right? That there is the 570A. Look at the price, £739. £90 more than ours. £90 more. That's the 570A, right? Now you can buy the 570. Oh, and the A. Uh, uh, hang on, he's got the A. Hang on, I'm confused. No A on that one, 699. That's not got an alphabet. That's not got the alphabet and it's still 50 pounds more than ours. Okay, they're the first two. Keep going looking. Obviously, what I'm trying to say to you is there may be shops around the country that do have it at this price. We can't find them, but we think we're very, very, very competitive where the, uh, all our elder machines are. 
The reason I love this one so much is because it does everything. All the things you want on here, right? So I'll just take you through it very quickly. You have here on the front, you have a uh, da -da 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 lock stitch. You have a needle up, needle down position, look. You have a, a th thread cutter, when you just cut the thread at the end of the seam. Then here, you've got a, your reverse button. Here, you've got a button so you don't even have to use the foot pedal. You can use the um, press on the front there. All you have to do is unplug the foot pedal. That won't work, look. While the, look, you can hear it beeping. That won't work when the foot pedal is plugged in. However, hang on, let me just take that down. If you take the foot pedal out, you can sew, look, I'm not going to do lots because I've got no fabric in there, but you can use the start-stop button to sew with from there. If we come along here, we've got the um, go faster, go slower. Then you move across to here, and this is our like control panel here. Now, let me see if I can turn that around so you don't get any. Can you see the numbers on there? Right, this one here, you choose is your stitch number. Goes up by the tens and down by the tens of that one. Up by the singles, down by the singles of that one. I'll just clear that. This one here is your stitch width and your stitch length. Um, the machine will not let you go beyond what it's capable of. This one here is your, is your shortcut to your straight stitch. This one here is your shortcut to your zigzag. This one here is your shortcut to your overedge stitch because it has an overedge foot, which means you can like do overlocking, but it doesn't, it doesn't um, cut the fabric, obviously. This one here is your shortcut to your buttonhole, but there's more than one buttonhole here. I'll show you in a second. You can fix it so that you do a memory cutter at the end of each um, line of stitching. This one here is when you're doing uh, alphabet or decorative stitching. I'll show you that one in a minute. This one there literally takes you back to the beginning. And then you've got mode here. Now you can see here the lights going up. There's mode one, mode two, alphabet one and alphabet two. So let me show you. This machine comes with 200 stitches uh, incorporated in the machine. And those stitches are all here on the side. So you've got all your straightforward utility stitches, you've got your stretch stitches, your feather stitches. Look at all the buttonholes. <clears throat> you wouldn't expect a little machine like that. I say little machine, it's a fantastic machine. Uh, with all those buttonholes, you've got an eyelet stitch there. But then you've also got more. This is all still in mode one. There's the rest of your stitches in your mode one. There's 50 stitches in mode one. Then you go to mode two. And then you've got decorative stitches, satin stitches. Yes, yeah, 101, 102. What did I say? Yeah, yeah, it's 50 on there. So there's 50 on there, 50 on there, 50 on there, and 50 on there. So you get 200. That does not include your alphabet. Your alphabet is completely separate. And what you do then is you go to alphabet A here. This is the alphabet you've got. Big letters and little letters. Uh, you've got numbers there, and you've got question marks, brackets, hearts, spaces, everything you need there. Brilliant it is for that. Then uh, your bobbin is a top loader bobbin, the same as it is on my 680. You can drop the um, feed dogs if you want to do free motion. Um, this does come off. The gobbins box does come off. So you've got a free arm if you want a free arm. And that's how you slide on your um, extension table, which comes with it. Oh, and the hard cover comes too. Um, I'll just show you, we've got a slide with all the uh, feet that you get with this. Because it all comes automatically. There you go. You get your, st oh, your standard foot A, your satin stitch F, your over edge foot C, your zipper foot E, your blind head foot, you even get a quarter inch foot look. Automatic buttonhole with stabiliser plate and then all those other bits and bobs as freebies. And it's really easy to add. Now, we don't sell the extra feet, but if you want to buy a walking foot, just ring Elna. They'll either sell you one and have it to you within a couple of days or tell you where it's nearby that you could go and get one. You need category B for this, remember, because my machine is category C because it does a wider, sti wider stitch on it. Uh, got a few messages. I love my 570A. Does everything I want apart from continue to sew whilst I walk the dog. Oh, Susie. You're out for f hours and hours with the dog. Uh, I say it all the time, but I love this machine. Even a simple zigzag is beautifully sewn. It makes me happy to sew with it. It is a lovely machine, isn't it? Beautiful machine. That's what we want. That's what we want. Right. Hi, John. Bought the E at the E. The old the Elna 570A last year. Best machine ever. Love it from Elaine. Now, are you an Elaine or an Elaine? Because Elaine Page is Elaine, not Elaine. Um, there was something else I was going to tell you then. You can, oh, and you can move the, bless you, you can move the needle across 
uh, if you want to move it a bit that way or a bit that way I'll, sh I'll show you very quickly are you looking at if you're looking at the needle here you go there you go oh hang on no, no I've got to bring the needle up sorry needle up right then you can see hang on I'm not doing this properly oh hang on it hang on it's beeping at me hang on here you go oh come on boys what you doing I'll just switch off and switch back on. I don't know what I'm doing there. On. There we go. There you go. Or how many needle positions? 15 different needle positions there. And you see, when it doesn't want to do it, it will, it will beep at you. It will beep at you. And seven what? Oh yes, yeah, a seven millimetre width. That's what makes it category B. If it goes to a nine millimetre width, it's a, a C. Also, it comes with a two-year warranty from Elna, and if they've got a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant customer service team, that if you need to ask them anything during opening hours, they will, they will, they're brilliant. And if you don't, if they don't know the answer, they'll get back to you. I think I've covered everything. Have a think about it. I don't know who was asked to see it. Um, right, we're going to go after the break to Yarn Lane now. Oh, now what? Yeah, do not go anywhere, right? So stay watching here if you're on the telly. Stay watching here if you're on the Facebook Live. Stay watching here if you're on YouTube. And now what about the app? Does the app just stay the same? The app just stays the same as well. And Facebook Live as well. All stay the same. Do not go anywhere. Stay here. Now, don't go to the Yarn Lane website to shop. Everything is on the Sewing Street website, just so you know. Just so you know. So we've got um, Stuart's... Well when he brought this on the birthday week it sold out completely it looks like it's going that way again now only this time um the, the, not wasn't limited but we only had boxes and sets we're selling it by the ball today and we've got a competition so anybody who buys any yarn from this range here goes the slide right buy any any yarn lane product from today oh oh so it's not just the yarn Sorry, no, I've been saying just the yarn, haven't I? Buy any Yarn Lane product from today's show, so it could be needles, it can be absolutely anything, one of you will win the Stylecraft sock kit, which is amazing, I'll show it to you later. Plus, a uh, free sock pattern to everyone who shops on, on Yarn Lane today. That one there is while stocks last, though, because there's not hundreds of those left. Right, don't go anywhere. We will see you back here in four minutes from now. <laughs> 